Good evening, and welcome to Growing Shadows. My name is John, and I just wanted to say a couple things really quick before we get our, you know, our show going. This is our Ninja Crusade Second Edition actual play. Try not to use too many words because, yeah, it's you a don't. Lot of words. It's a lot of words. Uh, but tossing out a few things really quick. Uh, so we are playing a game by Third Eye Games. I want to say that right now they have a Kickstarter going for a game called The Many Adventures of Patty and Fritz. It is a uh, interesting, you know, kind of communal storytelling role-playing game involving a half-eaten burger and some fries that solve crimes. And it's actually really cool. And uh, uh, another big announcement. I'm just going to go ahead and toss this out there. It is... My plan to attend Gen Con this year, uh, depending on how certain things go, if Gen Con isn't canceled or if I, you know everything goes off as planned, the game that will be taking place, it'll be part of a two-part series that will directly influence the plot lines for future episodes of Growing Shadows as well as the Wooden Dojo. So you as a player will have the opportunity to sign up for this game or as a viewer, going to Gen Con, signing up for this game, and directly influence the things that are happening to our players. And so that, we're, yeah, we're going to be drawing you specifically into our world. So uh, without further ado, I think we're going to go ahead and get everything started off. Oh, give me a second. No. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe we will. Me, and maybe we won't. Second. Keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah, sorry. I was, I was doing something. <laughs> Ready for this? Jump in that beat, little time for slowing to the deep shadows. Let's let it grow with the rest of the heat, and now I'm glowing. <laughs> and I got the time, you got the hand, you can climb the toys from the grass. The brain is making out, and I feel always trying to, gonna see it through. Throwing out things to the blood of the blanket, too. Okay. okay, we're on. Well, welcome back. No, I, so, s- I wanted to glow. You wanted to glow. You said, because it says, now I'm glowing. Yeah, now I'm glowing. That's what it says. Oh, I thought you said something else. I Engaging th- my key, and now I'm glowing. Yes. Which I, you know, I didn't, I've never heard it described as, you've never described the key as glowing. Because we well, described it. Yeah, uh, so different Well, I've characters. played in other Ninja Crusade games where it was not described uh-huh. <laughs> as such. Well, We're starting off sassy. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah, are. We're in a mood. But key's supposed to have a supernatural effect to it, and glowing is semi-supernatural. Glowing is and, a supernatural you know, effect. Hey, there so. you go. Bioluminescence. Yes. So, uh, kicking off this evening, hi everyone, my name is John. I am the GM for this game. And we're going to go ahead and do some uh, quick table introductions. Uh, We're not really going to spend as much time just chawing as we usually do because uh, we got a lot to do tonight. So uh, starting off, going around, uh, Stephen, you want to kick us off? Yeah. Hi, I'm Stephen. I play Chet. Um, I'm Justine, and I play Ronto and her dog, Camu. I am Sammy, and I play Takumi. I'm Guy. My name is Tuan. Hi. (laughs) <laughs> I'm Roxanne and I play Kyo. You did it backwards and now I'm confused. I know. Personally. I know. I blinked. I He's panicked. A guy. Hey, you know what? We can say it however we want to say it. That's nope. that's nope. my feeling on it. So Uh and before I get too far oh, into no, starting this game. Oh, I forgot I gotta think of a name. Well, but before we Crumped. even do that, uh do you wanna go ahead and point out oh, two other things actually. Uh we have merch. And two of our members at our table are wearing their merch tonight mm-hmm. here. We have our Dan Ketsu Dodgeball League. It's a pretty awesome shirt. If you can't tell, uh, it has a picture of the dodgeball, the bamboo, some ninja stars, and a nice little description. It says, use your key, which, of course, was a very key part of that episode. Use your <laughs> key. Yeah, nice little homage to episode one. And mm-hmm. we got a mug. Alternate yes. design. Yes. So... Uh, hopefully, if you're interested, go and uh, I think I have it linked on PassionNerdly.com. Well, there's a slide also that oh. comes up yeah. with mm-hmm. a Bitly link. Yeah, 
follow the um, bit.ly link. It, it should just be bit.ly slash the number 5AD0. Mm-hmm. H-A-D-0. So it's shadow with a kind of. Yep. It's kind of shadow. You and can also, sorry not to oh, cut no, you no. off. Uh, you can also just go on to T Public if mm-hmm. that gets messed up for any reason and just search Growing Shadow. You'll see one of the designs like right at the top. Yeah, because even the poster that I yeah. uploaded this week for Passion Nerdlies, mm-hmm. which I do not have a slide loaded for that. Yeah, not tonight. yet. We, but yeah. If ahead. you follow us on social media, you probably have seen that we uh, Justine has made an amazing poster for us. Uh, that will be displayed and put up at a couple shops here in town. Uh, one of which, going to go ahead and toss out that because more than likely they will come, they will be joining us when this episode comes out on YouTube. And that is that Paradise Anime is joining us as a partner. And so they will actually have our poster up in their store. Uh, hopefully, Space Cadets Collection, Collection, not Collection, uh, Gaming, Gaming. Gaming, Gaming. Gaming, Get it Gaming. Right. We're two separate stores, yeah. sir. Hopefully, all goes well. And they will also have the poster up there. So, tossing those two things out. Was there anything else we really needed to talk about? Uh, mm-hmm. I think those were the main things. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Are we going to visit Rokugan? Uh, no. I just was. We liked you know, the mat, and so we threw it on the table. Yeah, I, I was looking for something just to cover up where a certain kitty kitty had scratched <gasps> the table too Is he much. Scratching the top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have studio animals, and they mm-hmm. like to tell Cats, us uh, how method. important they are and how much more important they are than the game, which we do know that already. But I mean, we're pretty pretty aware of their importance. Yeah, but they want us to know. So. Going into tonight, uh, then we're going to get this all started off. So if you can kick the volume up for me a little bit. Oh, how about I just turn it on? There we go. <laughs> I just had it muted. Because it had been playing over and over and over in my <laughs> ears for 15 minutes, and mm-hmm. I was done. <laughs> well, when last we left, our intrepid group of ninja, they had... Ben in the village of Danketsu, where uh, Chet and Guy had found out that they had been the selected winners of the first chance to enter into the Lotus Coalition, joining a clan. Guy, of course, was thrilled to find out that uh, he was selected for the uh, Living Chronicles. Or actually, he made that selection. Several clans, I think it was two other clans, also offered him the opportunity. Chet, however, made the uh, distinct decision to not join any of them. And, yeah, yeah, to some extent, become possibly Ronin. Now, it would be interesting if we started the show off right after those events, but it would be even more interesting and perhaps a little bit teasing to our viewers if actually this show is not starting right there. No, uh, instead, we find our team in the city of Sensumon. Sensumon is a coastal village, uh, probably a couple weeks travel, almost the equivalent of what you did getting into the Triumph District, uh, uh, the Triumph Province for your first test. You've now traveled an equal distance west rather than north. And Sensumon is a new city, only founded within the last uh, within the last ten years, almost as much as Danketsu. Uh, but there's a lot more happening here. Sensumon was founded as the Empire landed ships on this coast to basically invade to. Uh, what I would almost say two kingdoms and one uh, province. They went north and invaded into the Triumph province, trying to, which is still going on to this day. There is the most active part of the war between uh, the Izu Am- Empire and the uh, recoiling serpents that reside there. You also had them uh, land in this area and go west where they uh, invaded, and it was probably the bloodiest war, uh, most attrition ever, 
and that was uh, the invasion of the land of five blades they also left from this point landing troops here went east and invaded the land of seed and blossom and so uh, this became it started off pretty much as just a place where people would land troops uh, and of course large influx of people the need for trade goods the need for ports the need for a lot of things in 10 years this is turned into a city uh, and you know imports exports uh, there is a small trading area unlike anything that uh, many of you have ever seen uh, Kyo has perhaps seen it before but imagine uh, as you're going through the city and through the ports this city is built right on the edge of the, of the Arashi Sea and you know just water as far as I can see some of you may have never even seen the ocean uh, but it's that kind of a moment you know the crashing waves or anything else but there is a market where it is a uh, strip of water that comes into the city and you see boats moving between various warehouses that are closely packed together and trade goods of uh, various types are moved from location to location uh, in this mat think of it almost like the New York Stock Exchange floor boats traveling back and forth between these things as trade deals are done negotiations are made it is amazing to watch and, and the thing is is that you know that this is probably one of the smaller ports that does this uh probably only about maybe 30 40 warehouses but still the amount of work and things taking place is impressive to see uh but beyond that this is a very clean and new city because it only came about in the last 10 years. It's also a very lawful city because of the amount of troops moving through here. Uh, it's been a few days since a troop transport has arrived. And so for the most part, you feel safe. But you have all been sent into Sensuman with a very specific mission. And that mission was to identify someone that... Uh, either an ally or a possible threat to the Lotus Coalition. And this is the next test for those of you who are trying to become ninja. Uh, the two of you who are not, you've actually been asked to assist. Uh, you are still on the same mission. The Lotus Coalition is expecting that you to do this, but you, you, this really isn't something where pass fail. And you could always hop in and help someone else or pursue your own end just to toss that out there so we're going to go ahead and start off with a couple of our players and i'm going to let them uh, talk to me and describe what it is they're doing there so yes this mission this moment in the game is actually happening around about a month after the last time you saw our table so uh i'm going to start off with takumi okay so takumi what exactly are you doing? Who are you investigating in this situation? Um, I have been keeping tabs on a lady by the name of Reina Noriko. R-E-I-N-A-N-O-R-I-K-O. And she... Um, this actually works out really well. Uh, she operates essentially as um a judge in this new town um and because of her position and her status she has a lot of pull and sway in the goings on in this town and uh who's who's allowed to be in positions of power and how rulings go for um day-to-day -day affairs and more pressing matters uh being essentially an official for the empire in this area um so the uh i imagine the lotus coalition views her more as a threat than a potential ally and i have been uh essentially shadowing her Okay. And uh, keeping tabs on um, what she does on a day-to-day -day basis, who she talks to, 
um, anything that could be considered relatively shady. Um, I imagine it kind of like the job that um, Danny Ocean gave Matt Damon's character in Ocean's Eleven. Just your job is to watch him. I want to know everything about them kind is, of a thing. Is Matt Damon in Ocean's Eleven? Yeah. Yep. Yes, he is. Gosh, I don't remember He's that. in all three of them. Yep. He's like, uh... Um, he's, he's the kid. Yeah. Matt Damon? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and it, Mert Derman. Oh, my God. And his, uh, he's not a child. No. He but his parents... Yeah. And his parents were, like, friends with Danny Ocean more. And so it was kind of like his opportunity yeah. to prove himself. It's him and not Brad Pitt? No, yeah, Brad, it's Pitt is, Brad Pitt. Brad, it's, Brad Pitt. It's yeah. one of those. It's one of those <laughs> movies that just has They're, superstar lineups every time. Yeah, I just don't remember Matt oh, Damon at all. Backwards. It's yeah, no, easy for it's, people to get lost in that movie. There's too many. Danny Ocean and There's Brad Pitt were the two mains, and yeah. then uh, I just didn't remember. Matt Damon was the tag along. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I know most of the other people in that movie, but, but yeah, yeah, I've been I've been shadowing her okay. and, and keeping tabs on what she does so that the Lotus Coalition would know how to either deal with her, opportune times to deal with her, or um, interfere with the things that she has been influencing within the city so that it's a safer region for the Coalition or a way that they can manipulate things within the city. All right. Cool. So uh, as you're trailing her one day, mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't move around. You've, you've also noticed that she is always shadowed by one guard. Okay. Uh, who is a member of the Imperial Army. Of course. And it looks like she might have a couple of just lesser assistants. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them's not armed, but one of them, uh, one of them is. Mm -hmm. And they're always in her vicinity. Yeah. Uh, but they're, you know, they're, and the guard is almost like her right hand. Mm -hmm. And you're trailing her through Sensamon, going through the city, and uh, you get a little bit of feeling that maybe she has, you're not certain if it's uh, goodwill that she's trying to garnish or if she's just trying to flex power. Mm -hmm. But she does like to go through the city and see what's going on. Okay. And people, of course, are always talking to her or welcoming her, always showing her deference. And uh, there comes a point uh, where you, you think that uh, the guards are paying a little bit too much attention on the street. And uh, one of them uh, looks your direction and you turn and go into the closest stall, mm -hmm. the closest uh, place. And the door opens, and you really weren't paying attention, but the door opens, and it is a room filled with art and prints and items of that nature. Oh. And we are going to go ahead and do a flashback for you. Okay. Does the music change? Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so you step into that uh, merchant stall, and instead, for our viewers, we are thrown back to the time. You have just come back from the test. You have arrived back in uh, Dan Ketsu. And instead, the doors are opening into your own home. Your home is this small, uh, not so much a shack, but a uh, very small home. Perhaps it was somebody else's at one time and left. And you and your mother moved in and uh, began to take care of it, making small repairs on it, improving it. But it, it's always going to be that small thing just improved upon. Yeah. Uh, even the stones that surround the small amount of property that you have have toppled in areas. Mm -hmm. But it, it's home. There's the smell. There's uh, paintings mm -hmm. that you and your mother have done, different pieces of artwork up, and that's what has pulled you into this memory. But you arrive, and the door is open, and you, uh, you're proudly home. You're so thankful to be back from this mission to the Triumph Province. And your mom turns and says, Oh, oh, I, I didn't realize that you were home just yet. Hi, Mom. And there is a man standing opposite her in your home. 
Um, hi. Yeah. Hello. Your mom's name is uh, Akina Uzanagi. And uh, she is the local uh, kind of handyman. Handyman kind of a thing. Yeah. yeah. But performs various tasks around the town, uh, just fixing things up. You've never really seen somebody in the house before. And it's kind of caught you off guard a little bit. You know, obviously so. Well, this is this is a surprise. Uh, I actually um, am very happy that you're here. Uh, I would like to introduce you to uh, Hoka- Hokoshu. And the moment those words leave her lips, you're like, oh, you know this name. In fact, most people would probably know this name. Uh, Hokushu is perhaps the most prized and sought after artist, not just in the empire. Uh, he is known for uh, carving wood blocks, painting them elaborately, and doing a uh, press of art uh, through wood block imaging. Oh. And he is, yeah, he is extremely well known and highly sought after. Uh, it's amazing that he's here, quite frankly. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, d- do you want to tell him? Um, well, he is just, you said he was away for a bit and he is just home. I'll, uh, I'll step outside for a bit. And he just slowly walks out. Uh, very unassuming. You, you're almost like, wow, this is not who I would have expected to be this famous figure, especially to you. Yeah. So, like, as soon, as soon as, like, he steps out and the door closes, like, is that really, is that? Yeah. Yes, it's him. Why is he? I have something very exciting I want to tell you. I have secured the opportunity for you to study under him. It means that you would be able to leave the village. You'd be able to travel anywhere in the world with him. He goes everywhere. There is no port that is denied to him. You would be able to leave this conflict behind. Oh. Um... Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um What? I I I I thought you'd be so happy. I thought this would be the best news you could ever hear. I mean, this this is a person that is seen around the world as or at, you know, as just an f- amazing figure. But, um... <laughs> Thanks. Dang it, Roxy. <laughs> I was in character, yeah. too. Sorry. Amazing Sorry. figure. Thank you, Roxy. <laughs> in case you Believe, missed that no, out there. Um, they, they I saw, have an amazing figure. Thank <laughs> you very much. Look at that butt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um... Sorry, I just thought about something really funny. No. Uh, no, uh, bring it back in. Um, but what about everything that we've been working for here? Um, I, I this. I don't want to see you getting hurt. And I think that this is an opportunity that for something that you truly love and something that you could, you could do. This could be a career. This could be, I mean, given enough time as an apprentice and then a journeyman, you, you could be him. But what about the rest of you? And I think that's where we're going to end this flashback. 
for the moment. Can I just say, I thought that was going to be a situation where she's going to be like, meet your new dad. I was about, yeah. I was, <laughs> I was like, I was, was mentally gearing up for that. I was like, oh no. That's, this that's is why not I was happening. doing As this. I wasn't being cheesy. As if I throw something that simple anyone's way. Uh, <laughs> This is worse, actually. What if, wow, what if, look at what that if you just what if you just <laughs> took it and then we went back to the future and you were gone? Poof. <laughs> and he it. took his internship. Yeah, yeah. He, he wasn't here. What this a, is going what to be a boring game. Or you were here with the artist, <laughs> and the artist away. happened to go to the same place. Yeah. Pins and needles. I'm on them. Yeah. <laughs> Get off them. I've tried so, to make the so chairs now, as comfortable as possible. So now, so now I'm possible. back in that shop that yeah. I just walked into thinking about that the smell of paint looking around the room is he staring at one of his artworks there's actually one of those prints one of the most expensive prints in the room up on the wall here um i'm going to because all of that happened at once i'm going to um uh just kind of stare at it mm-hmm. and kind of get lost in thought um, I believe you actually. Uh, when per- I do that, I get a karma. Speaking of which, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, our karma? we're gonna get some karma dice out here on the oh, table, and we get extra. Right? Yes, you do. Uh, so we have five players. Therefore, there are gonna be five karma on the table. We also yes. have uh, enough subscribers now that you well, will be did, getting. It did reset. It reset, but I'm still counting it because Thank we you. hit six. We, we had six for a hot minute. We had six subscribers. We're hoping that we get more. Remember, every five you get more karma that's right Wait, what do you mean it reset every, every month, month because everybody's done twitch prime oh yeah and you have to re-up manually your twitch prime so we had six month. for a hot every pocket month. yeah so yeah right. so we had six two of them that started that started the month late they're here for another month but some of our earlier guys okay. dropped off uh so for right back. now you have seven karma nice so go ahead and set that out there and I know that you, your character, whenever you're distracted or taken away by art, you get an extra one. Nice, nice, nice. In fact, as you're distracted, you hear the door open again behind you. And uh, the judge walks in alone. You are not to engage. You are not to engage. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to keep staring at the art. Mm-hmm. And she uh, walks in. And uh, the contributor, the uh, the owner, of the establishment comes out and says, "Like, oh, thank you, thank you so much for coming in. I'm so glad that you were able to come by. I actually have the piece you've requested." And uh, the judge says, nods, uh, "Thank you so much." She looks over your way briefly and looks at your sleeves. Are you an artist? Oh, um, sorry, didn't see you there. Um, I, um, I, I, I dabble. Hmm. Which is your favorite? Oh, um, well, he's, he's really good. Oh. You're talking about Okushu? Yeah. Very good. There's something about his prints. Have you ever seen more than one side by side from the same carving? Um, no. Over time, the wood begins to break down a little bit. Or at least that's what people think, but there's actually little details as the as it's cured by the paints that have sat on it for a while, more and more detail begins to appear. I absolutely love his stuff as well. And the owner walks out, hands her uh, this painting that are, you're not certain if it's a painting, but something wrapped up in canvas and departs without another word to you. Mouth is all dry now and probably slightly hyperventilating everything is wrong you have one of those anxiety whistles that (sighs) yeah (sighs) okay um 
I think we're moving on to another player for the moment. <laughs> yeah, I think t <laughs> Takumi is a little is a little malfunctioning at the moment. Yeah. So Ranto. That's me. Yeah. So how exactly who who are you uh, pursuing and what uh, why? I am pursuing a man named Mako Uzumaki, um, and my perp is somebody who I see as potentially an ally. Um, my my perp. Your perpetrator. <laughs> my suspect. Okay. okay. I don't know. I wrote perp in my notes. <laughs> That's some CSI. That's real. <laughs> boom, That's boom. real CSI investigations. Wow, your person wow. of interest. Your the, point. There you go. The dude your I'm point. stalking. Your pip. Um. Your your pie. Your point. Pie your boy. <laughs> the dude I'm stalking. I think I can see as a potential ally. He's here primarily for trade, but um, just kind of by like the rougher look of him and like. The wear of his shoes. Um, not that I wear shoes because I'm a real earthy gal. But um, <laughs> uh, he looks worn and he looks like he knows his way around Even the woods. Even the docks. And um, my theory yeah. is that he could potentially or potentially be um, a good scout or a good navigator to go through the denser, more dangerous uh, wooded areas when, when slash if a normal passage for trade or travel becomes too dangerous or occupied by empire. Okay. Uh, but so he's essentially a woodsman, mm -hmm. but uh, seems knowledgeable about the area. Okay. And it's while this happens that you are observing. Now, how, how are you going about observing? Uh, oh, um, I, oh, I should actually mention first that I get plus one karma to stand out in urban environments. Oh, so you stand you out. You definitely stand out. We'll let this go over Little there then. Little barefooted. Uh, dirty child. Dirty child. I definitely well, look like a little street urchin um, <laughs> with my street urchin then dog. You, then you might not stand out that much. Oh, maybe. Um, <laughs> but I got me and Camu, and I think we're just trying to um, stay more so out of sight than try to blend in because we know we don't blend in. Mm -hmm. uh, we're we're just trying to hang back, maybe like hide in like masses of groups of taller people since we're both kind of small and shrimpy and just kind of keep eyes on him to watch his actions. I'm more particularly interested in um, when he leaves and where he decides to go and how he's been like, does he stay in the woods like uh, like what I would do or like, yeah, just try to get a, a lockdown on him if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, but so this tailing him to some extent. Yes. But, uh, all right. You do stand out in this urban environment. Uh, and you do look a bit like an urchin with your dog and everything else. But you got a really long piece of hay that you've been chewing on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for two weeks. It's and tough. Yeah, she's an urban urchin. <laughs> a, as you're watching him. A clump of something. Maybe it's mud. Maybe it's, uh, you know, something. Smacks your dog in the side. And you, you kind of recoil angrily and look over. And there are a group of children uh, who are equal to you in height, but probably not equal to you in age. In age. But they... Uh, there, one of them picked up uh, something on the side of the road and this chunked at your dog and is just like, what are you doing here, you dirty beggar? And another kid, uh, just, you know, one of his friends is like, yeah, and pulls his eye down and sticks out his tongue at you. Oh. And it's at that moment that we're going to go into a flashback. Mm, Ugh, bullied it's the worst. by six-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> My bane. They're almost taller than me. <laughs> You've arrived back to your home. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's following your adventures where you had been abroad. And as per normal, as you are arriving and walking back on, your brothers are there. And they're just like, oh, I guess you survived, huh? <laughs> Well, you didn't grow anymore since you've been away, one of the other ones say. Uh, guys, she's not going to grow anymore. She's part monkey. Ooh. You know, and the three of them are just razzing on you. You're, uh, 
your dog is just starting to growl a little bit, picking up a little bit on your emotions. How do you react? Um, I get one karma to lose my temper via side jokes or size jokes. So <laughs> uh-huh. I think considering I am a older to mid child in a group of rowdy boys, I'm going to headbutt the closest one. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and roll really quick. Okay. Um, can I use... Finish him. Do I need to pick two? Is that yeah, pick two. Okay. That's so awesome. how are you going about this? The best way, you know, go ahead and give a description of how you're headbutting, and I can help you out with that a little bit. It's going to be a full-on charge. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking might and fortitude. Might and fortitude might work. Might and speed if you're trying to do it really quickly and catch them off guard. Fortitude if you're not if you're trying to do it without hurting yourself. Your yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I think I've lost my temper. I'm more concerned with hitting first hurting, and dealing with the consequences. Someone, yeah. okay. I use might and speed. All right. He's going to t- try and sidestep you. I'm going to tell you right now, I've already got three successes. <laughs> oh. Then I'm going to take one of my karma. Yeah. And I do want to say this uh, to the table and to our viewers. Uh, karma rules were pointed out last oh, uh, right. Last episode, I am going to say that because of how I've learned uh, with convention play and everything else, I will let you go ahead and use one karma without describing it. But if you're going to use more than one karma in a situation, you will have to convince the table. Does that sound okay. good for everyone? Yeah. 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 All right. Um, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Sevens count. Um, that is a seven and two tens. Ooh. So nice. Five, four, five, because tens are two. Yeah. Nice. So you, he tries to sidestep you, but you are quicker, harder, and uh, you headbutt him good. Where do you hit him with that? Right what? in the gut. Right in the gut? Because I'm short. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, so she doesn't have to jump. Uh, and he recoils in pain. Uh, he's just like, oh, what was that for, you little rant? You know. A little rant. Wow. Yeah, it's because they're kids. Name, and oh, they make fun of their name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. They call her rant. They call her runt. They call her all sorts of things. Mm-hmm. Kids. And worst. parents equally worse. The door opens up <laughs> and your mom sees that exchange. And she comes oh. out and she's just like. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Already home and starting a fight. Oh, I didn't start it. Really? And she looks at the three boys. You're going to tr- you're going to tell me that they started it, and yet you're the one that's hitting them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they started Roxy. it. So Sorry. I hit them. I'm very invested in this It's like one. a sport. Yeah. <laughs> you, she, she just shakes her head and is just like, why don't you just go get washed up, and we'll have some supper when you're ready. Don't hold your breath. And I go outside. You should do it anyway. <laughs> I'll go outside and she wants me to go wash up. I'll go to the woods and I'll go hop in the stream for a little bit. Okay. And I'll take my time. I, I fully understand why you're a lone wolf now. Like Makes I perfect get sense. It. Perfect sense. Your, uh, your pup accompanies you. Does he get in the pool with you or does he just stay on the side? And no, I wash him first. He's he's been a good, good boy and he needs good scrubbing. I gotta make sure he doesn't get matted. So I scrub him first and then I proceed to you know scrub my own hair and I don't bring the soap. Mm. Uh, you hear as you're doing this, you're you're you've gone quite a distance from the house and you're washing up and you hear a twig snap. Uh, but it's purposeful. That your ears and your heightened uh, knowledge of the woods tells you that that's not just a foot snapping a twig. Somebody's snapping a twig to let you know they're nearby. And your dog's ears perk and immediately turns his head. And you follow his gaze and you see uh, one of the dogs of your clan. Uh, one that you are familiar with. Uh, a lot of people just refer to him as Hanshu. But he, uh, your mentor, or a mentor that within your group, uh, within the Pack of the Black Moon, 
calls out from the edge of the woods. And his name is Shinji. Are you decent? Just give me a sec. And I'll just I'll shove my little shorts back on and I'll put my <laughs> robe on and grab my cloak for good measure. And I just kind of stomp on out because I'm still mad. Okay. And he comes out. He is uh, around about, say, about 10, 15 years older than you. Uh, very lean, very tall, olive skin, dark curly hair that falls in a very tangled mess on his shoulders. Uh, wears a very loose-fitting robe but long trousers. He just kind of comes around scratching at his shoulder. So, uh, couldn't help it here. I was nearby. Um, you okay? Yeah, nothing I can't deal with. You really shouldn't take anything that they say to heart. I'm, I mean, I know, but I mean, it just, they say it and then I like see red for a second and then my head's in my brother's gut. You're... Brothers chapters have already been written. I, I don't mean to be too rude, but they have ascended as far as they're ever going to ascend. Now you can say it. I'm, I'm mad right now. It's all right if you say it. <laughs> but they're essentially mutts. They're I not going to go anywhere. You have a chance. You shouldn't let them get to you. I know. And it's with that that the flashback ends. You turn and you see those children, and they are making faces at you. They've thrown this mud at you. What are you going to do? I make the little Arthur meme fist. (laughs) (laughs) And then I lean over and I swipe the mud off my dog because he didn't deserve that. Yeah. And I look at the kids and I do a little of my own, pull down my my cheek, and then me and Camu fall back into the crowd and disappear from them. Okay. As you fall back and these kids are still mocking you, you watch as a hand flies out, striking one of them in the chest, and that kid crumples up against the wall. Oh, jeez. Like a disembodied hand? No. Okay. That hand is definitely attached to a boy. A very rotund boy. Yes. Oh. And uh, sides of his head shaved back. And he just, you know, rolls up one sleeve with one arm and puts his fists up. And he's like, you... You should be ashamed of yourself. You disrespect your family. You disrespect this whole city with attacking someone like that. What are you thinking? And this, you know, overly flamboyant, just the personality coming off this kid is like, huh? We just found another Chet. And the white knight of the city. But Rotund, over, uh, his shirt is off. I mean, this kid, (laughs) he's big. Uh, and based on the stance that he has assumed and the hand that he has thrown, you know that this looks like wrestling. Oh, dip. And he this stands there. Yeah. It's like, so? You think you're so tough to take them on? Throwing stuff at them? Why don't you try me, huh? Come on, come on. I'll take all three of you at the same time. I can do it. And the kids are this like, get up, and they're just like, I'm not going to waste our time. And they stomp off. Me, me. I'm the Iron <laughs> Fist. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Rand. <laughs> Ain't been in a monastery for years. The hand so. killed my parents. <laughs> the Iron Fist. <laughs> me. This is an energy drink. It's going to just go <laughs> sometime tonight. But he turns and looks over at you and gives this winning grin and a big thumbs up. He's like, <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'm a little bit stupefied. Um, you Ronto is already kind of into sumo wrestling, too. 
Um, so she definitely she likes sports. could see that. She likes sports. So that's she's just kind of like all the time, just to make it harder for them. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm, 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 you know, kind of sorry. I've never seen you around here. This, yeah, I, I hate seeing people think they can, you know, mistreat other people. This really gets me. Uh, so my, my name is Akira. Uh, Ronto. Uh, look, um, I'm not trying to be forward or, you know, anything, but, uh, you know, like, but my shirt's where's your off. family? Uh, are, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just passing through. Just passing through. I mean, you gotta be, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I can I buy you something like some food or something? I mean, I, th- I think that would only be fair that you you've been mistreated in my city and you you should get something. I mean, that, that's not right that you're that people would throw stuff at you, right? It's yeah. I'm. I mean, you're right that people shouldn't throw things, but no, I'm I'm good. I kind of ate lunch like an hour ago. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it was really nice meeting you, Ranta. <laughs> yeah, uh, can I ask something? Yeah. What's with the get up? Oh. Or lack of get up. Oh, um, he kind of pulls his, uh, his jacket back up over his shoulders and kind of hides a little bit. Oh, I wanted to intimidate them a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm actually training. <laughs> I got, and my master's teaching me to, uh, to be a wrestler. And I'm, uh... It's kind of my dream, and so, uh, yeah, sorry, and yeah. Nah, I, it's cool. It's cool. You look cool. Well, thanks. Similar wrestling school. Yeah, yeah. Someday I'm, I'm, I want to travel all over the world, and I want to, I, I want to fight, and I want to, I, I think, like, I, my biggest thing, I want to, like, be on the same dais, and I want the governor to be there, and I want them to give me a trophy or a medal or something and just want to see them eye to eye and be like yeah and that maybe 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 they'll appreciate me and I, they all um uh, it was nice to meet you and he's like turns around and starts wandering off oh, okay bye dude i think we're gonna end your scene there for the moment sure. that guy totally just asked you out yeah yeah <laughs> he was totally <laughs> hitting you up yeah it's like, yeah. hey, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna. I can, I can buy you food. I can buy, but like, I'll be there too. I'll and <laughs> and, and, I'll, and I'll also get food, and we can just we can get food together. And then, and then you flat just were like, uh, you know, maybe put your clothes on. <laughs> he white knighted oh. you, and then he asked you out all in one sentence. <laughs> to be fair, do you think Ronto knows what being hit on looks like? No. No. <laughs> do any that of us? That kid probably doesn't either. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, I will say, just to our viewers, uh, we're trying to keep this to the the, the anime uh, tropes of innocent love. We're not going. We're not pursuing anything else in that I nature. It was cute. Yeah, it was that's cute. the idea. It was cute. It's it's supposed to be so. Yeah. Uh, but going from there, who who I'm gonna talk, put this uh, open to the floor. Who would like to go next? Well, is everybody doing it or, or everybody what? gets oh, flashback? I, oh, that's right. Oh yeah. Whoever wants to go. All right, I'll go. I guess. There we go. There we go. Yeah, since, absolutely. Since no one else is taking it, I'll take it. Yeah. So for Chet, how are you going about this? All right. Uh, so within the last month, you know, I, I expect it took us about a month to get here. So yeah. on the travel, knowing about the mission, um, I took some uh, resources that were available to me with the connections that my family has to study up on the government of this of this town of this village. Okay. Um, and I would assume as a player that this town has a, a mayor of some sort yeah. or a leader. Yeah. In my research, I discovered that um, the current like advisor to the mm-hmm. leader of the government is is. A man named Gen. Gen, okay. Here we go again. He... <laughs> from from the records that I could find, it seems like he just kind of showed up one day. 
and found his way to become the right hand of of the leader of this village. Not a lot is known about him from there. He's kind of an unknown entity. So Chet is trying to figure out whether or not he is an ally, a potential ally or threat. Okay. And how are you going about doing this while you're in town? Are uh, you shadowing him much like other people have been doing? or I'm asking questions I'm, of other people? I'm asking questions of other people to start. Okay. I've, I've made my way to the like one of the busier but more upscale parts of the village mm-hmm. um, to get information out of the people who he believes would have that information, like uh, religious leaders... Or people just under the religious leaders, so not necessarily going to like the the heads of organizations, but the people kind of like middle management. He's asking he's asking the people in the middle with with boots on the ground who would have had like heard things here and there. Nice. You are watching uh, him one day. You've talked to a few people and you're and you've got an idea of his routine. For the most part, uh, a lot of people say that very influential, very powerful. And you know, you get a lot of these, you know, people are willing to talk about uh, again uh secondhand. It's like, "Oh yes, this is what this person does. Oh yes, this is this is who they are." But it really takes a, a couple days to start getting deeper stories, uh, deeper ideas of who he is, uh, you're not certain at first if it's respect or fear. Hmm. Uh, but it's you get a feeling after a while that's a little bit of both, that maybe this person pulls strings in the city, and there, a lot of people are like, you know, they've, he's, he's got spies. He's got people watching everyone. He, uh, yeah, you, you, there's a certain amount of... Uh, you know, kind of oddness to it. Uh, and you're like, okay, so, I, but I got to confirm this. I mean, if he's got spies, he's got to have people reporting to him. And you start trailing again, hoping maybe you can observe his intelligence network if this is actually a thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, disguising myself as a street performer. Okay. So as to hide within plain sight. I am I am doing things that elicit bringing attention to myself, but in doing so, I am uh, blending in with with the town itself. Okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, make a roll based on that. All right. So here's here's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Obviously, perform because I'm doing a performance yes but while i'm performing i'm trying to keep an eye on him and an ear out for what he's doing uh so i was thinking uh perception and perform okay perception perform sounds good to me all right that just kind of went everywhere if you need to re-roll the ones that (laughs) fell out it's fine All right, that is four successes. Four successes? Uh, For the most part, I'm going to say that you are now carrying about four extra coins than you usually are. I know wealth is not really a system within this, but think of it as people have uh, given you an additional amount that you now have to be, you know, the ability to disperse. Yeah. Uh, and, And while you're doing this and also keeping an eye on, again, you observe as he's moving through this one section of the village you're in, that he turns, but not down one of the streets that uh, people commonly travel. Uh, This is more of a narrow alley that uh, serves as a secondary point of uh, water. Almost think uh, a little bit of, not so much sewer lines, but uh, the, a- the aqueduct's water moving throughout the city, things of that nature. Okay. So he's, d- you know, kind of gone down one of those alleys uh, and left your sight. Are you going to pursue? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You uh, grab the coins up, move down the street, turn into the alley. I do a, a very, you know, I do a bow, of course, mm-hmm. before I leave. You don't just walk away. And as you turn the corner, you see that he is probably about 20 or 30 yards ahead of you, uh, further down than you 
think he should have been. And he is bending over. And there is what appears to be a beggar asleep or passed out in the alley with a cup nearby, a large bowl. And something is dropped into the cup. And it is at this moment that we're going to start your flashback. (gasps) You have been trying for the last couple days to uh, find and talk with Kyo. And uh, you've made your way over to uh, their house a few times, but just haven't had a chance. And it's at one of these times that a hand reaches out, grabs you, and pulls you into an alley. All right, so I'm getting into a fight right now. That's what I just heard you say. Yeah. All right, I throw hands. You throw hands? My hands are thrown. I now have no hands. (laughs) You begin to fight. Uh, is it innate? Do you wait to see who it is? No. I'm being pulled into an alleyway. I, it's, this is unexpected. I'm in my own home village. So it's not like I'm out on a mission and this is like a friend or teacher pulling me into an alleyway just being like, hey, hide real quick. Things are dangerous. Yeah. There's no danger. This is danger. I, I fight it without even realizing who I'm hitting. How do you fight? What, what exactly are you doing? Is there a certain style to it, or is there anything in particular? Or uh, are you I'm going to grab this dude's wrist. I'm going to get wrist control, because that's important. Self-defense, everyone should know that. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to attempt to use the momentum of him pulling me to flip, or them. It's, I don't know. This could be a lady. Uh, I'm going to use the momentum from their pull to, like, Flip them over, essentially. Okay. You should just headbutt them. It's way less complicated. <laughs> In you the gut. Uh, uh, we're going to narrate this a little bit. All right. Uh, but you fl- you grab, you, you get those wrist control, you throw them, and they twist and f- uh, fly in the air a little bit, landing and turning and facing you. You see Koga. I hate that guy. You. I was right to attack him. Yeah. For the rest of you who uh, may not remember Koga, Koga showed up at the end of the first uh, episode where he pretty much uh, attempted to, you know, be intimidating to the group here and tried to start a fight there. But Koga turns, lands on his feet and stands up and says, you are a disgrace. I can't believe you turned him down and charges at you again with the intent of throwing punches and continuing this fight. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll I didn't start this fight, but I'll end it. Okay. <laughs> you begin to trade blows. Uh, some of his land, some of yours land. Is that fair? I, I think it would be more fun for me personally as a player if none of his landed, but all of mine landed. But I will give you you're the, the, you're the oracle. I will give you the opportunity. <laughs> OK, but Let's I see. want you to roll. We're, the, we're going to do it in one single roll off. All right. I'll do it. All right. Uh. What, what, which stats? Uh, well, remember, you are fighting your rival. Yes. So you are down two dice. I am down two dice. But so that's, that's you fine. tell me how you want to do this, and we'll roll. So uh, I'm thinking, um, even though it's not the best two I could pick, Yeah. Um, obviously fighting, because I'm fighting, um, then I, w- I would think uh, athletics. Okay. For for uh, the style in which I'm fighting, which is mostly trying to like duck and weave around his punches and get in close and like get a couple body shots in. Okay. Um, so that would be five minus two, so three for fighting, two for athletics. Let's see if I get any other pluses based off of my stuff. I don't. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do it. Roll off. Oh, that's not great. That's two. I got right. two. As you can see, I rolled three. Oh, man. That's better. So uh, he does still land blows on you. All right. But at some point, uh, while this is all going on, you, uh, you begin to kind of get exhausted. I mean, you're both fighting quite a bit back here it's out of direct eyesight nobody's really paying attention and you finally land one blow on him and he spins away for a moment 
a little bit of blood trickling down from his lip. And he's just like, I can't believe you would turn anyone down. What are you? What do you think you're going to become now? I'm going to become the greatest that there's ever been. Unlike you. Because what? <laughs> you hear laughter from further down the alley. I don't think that's going to ever be the case. I look further down the alley. Who Do I recognize this laugh and... and uh, the condescending tone of yeah. it. Oh, yes. A figure steps out into the alley. And it is... You saw him at your, uh, at your attempted initiation. Standing in the back of the room at that time was a figure known as Onimaru, who was a member of the Recoiling Serpents. Oh, man, those guys hate me. And he... Snakes. Is looks at you and just like, I don't think that'll ever be the case. Yeah, well, I'll show you. You don't look, no offense, but I'm not sure you can see the future. <laughs> I don't think that's one of the aspects of the recoiling serpents. Come, Koga, leave this fool behind. And Koga stands up and pulls back a sleeve. Which is going to be a common theme this game, I guess. And shows that the beginnings of a tattoo of a snake on his arm. He's like the Sasuke to your Naruto. Yeah. I, I promise you this. If we ever run into each other outside this village, I'm going to kill you. No questions asked. Your life will be mine. And Onimaru says, and that is the way of the serpents. Come. All and right. the two of them begin to walk away. I do, I do the eyelid pull down and tongue. Nah. All right. Just to show that I don't take his threat seriously. Okay. Do you know, do you know which one is? Probably the one farthest it's the, over. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, we're, we're adjusting a few uh, headsets and everything else. Is that better? Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, cool. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. So, quiet. your flashback yeah, no. <laughs> ends there. But you watch, uh, you are standing in this alley and you watch as this figure that you've been trailing walks away. But there is something in the cup over by the beggar. What are you going to do? I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull out some of those uh, coins that I had received. Mm -hmm. Uh from my awesome uh, mime performance mm -hmm. and I will go over to the cup and see what was dropped in while dropping in a couple I'll, I'll drop in all, all the coins that I collected from the performance into the cup with the beggar there's a note in the cup okay I'll are just you, are you going to leave it there hmm I'll tell you what you spend a karma I'll let you take it for free alright I'll spend Ooh. a karma I'll take it for free there you go. It's and, not uh, free. <laughs> you spent a karma. Oh, here's the karma I used. This is a ruse. Right. Oh. Yeah, I was just going to say leave the karmas out here so we can drop them back in, but he can grant us the karma. Thank yeah. you. Um, We're going to end your scene there for the moment. Okay. So, I have two more people left. Do you want to go? I don't mind going last. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Got it. Woo! There you go. <laughs> yeah, John always does this when he's doing yeah. his it, tested mic distance. I, I like to almost. And he like make, to make out with yeah. his his mic, so never Wah. never use Wah. that one. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> um, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Can I have one of these four with me in the scene? Uh, yes. I will grant you that. <laughs> Who would like to go on a food trip? Oh. Okay, so <laughs> slightly confused. Who okay. Are we are we talking like present day us or the flashback us? Present, present day. day. Wait, Part on. of okay. my investigation. Can canonically? It would be Ronto Chet. ate an hour ago. Yeah, I, I kind of it would be unfair to to blow off Akira and then be like, "Yeah, let's go get lunch." <laughs> no, no. Uh <laughs> I I'm just oh, this, this no, can this take place an hour ago. Oh. Just oh, about an hour that's ago. That's right, cuz you said you were getting food. 
Oh. Yeah, this so, is why I'm asking, because time is weird right now. Yes, it is. It's I fluid. hope you all are enjoying so, it. So, yeah, fluid. it sounds like Ronto sure. is probably looking for uh, Lunch, seafood apparently. <laughs> and, and it's going to be a lot of food. Okay. It's going to be a lot. Of, so someone has to be hungry. So, I yeah. mean, my dog's got to eat. Right. Yeah, well, no, we I'm, I, I'm saying, like, in the timeline, this takes place an hour ago when you had eaten. Yeah. yeah. Why you turn that guy down? Yeah. No, that... That's yeah. the flashback, though, right? Well, no, no, that was in no, the present No, that was in the time. present day. Oh, so it, it, okay. it, it does work. So, time so is we're, flexible. We're, ta- we're saying that Guy's thing happened an hour ago from when her thing happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. It all comes full circle. It's like yeah, Memento, but nothing like Memento. <laughs> we may sound confused, but we planned it like this. <laughs> you guys know what we're saying, right? What? Right? Right? Maybe. We're good. I just need yeah. a shirt with Takumi's face that says what? 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 W-A-T? All right. All right. Hello. So we're scarfing. We're eating. We're uh, we're going. This is by, at this point, our third restaurant. Okay? Oh, my. All right. And so, so Ronto, how's the food this time? Uh, it's too gritty. Gritty. Uh-huh. That's what sure I thought. That, sure that's not her? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, like, licked my hand first. <laughs> uh, this is the third restaurant so far. Um, yep. All right. Well. Time to go to the fourth one. We got two more stops on our way. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Okay, so um. Did I anger you? <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? No, 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 no. Um, so um, I've been getting some weird reports uh that uh have been saying that some restaurants have been getting kind of weird um comments from some of the, uh, the local people around saying that the food suddenly had a drop in uh in quality and so oftentimes people say that's because the food was either like not salty enough or too gritty and i think someone is tampering with uh some of the uh the food supply in town so you're trying to see which restaurants give me food poisoning. Not food poisoning. I think that someone is intentionally selling under quality salt. Oh. And you this look is a problem. Uh, you look underwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> well allow me to illuminate you the situation that we're in. Okay. <laughs> and so he uh guy starts pulling out all of his math charts and all that and say like, this is the amount of salt, uh, food that a lot of these people use. Salt is used in almost everything that uh, we need for food production and all that. And so with the amount of salt being consumed in, uh, in food preparation, especially in the um, production of the food pills we need to eat when we're on mission, well then, underquality salt will affect the amount of food pills that we can pr- uh, produce when we are on missions. I don't do go- good with a lot of words and math. I'm going to be flat Don't with worry you. about it. It's important. Okay. Just follow along. Eat. I, I can eat. I'm not so hot on the numbers. On to the next place! Oh, Lord. <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> I haven't I haven't seen him as ever since he got welcomed into a clan. <laughs> as you're walking along, you, uh, you find... <laughs> Uh, what, what exactly are you looking for? <laughs> I mean, are you are, are you trying to talk so to some lost. people, trying to find uh, so maybe the the person selling so, it? Yeah, he um, at the current moment, guy is investing all the restaurants that have been reported having um, a decrease in quality okay. and so trying to a threat to the Lotus Coalition. <laughs> Not necessarily, but it threat could be potentially uh, it could potentially affect our food supply as well. Yes, and so um, it's something that people. Do not pay attention to because of the threat of, um, of like bandits and warriors and the like. But you know, money is a good way to to financially ruin somebody, mm-hmm. especially a big town. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, and salt was a huge part of everybody's culture at that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Salt was like essential for yeah. a lot of societies to operate. We take it for granted nowadays because we can produce salt so easily, but. Yep. I mean, just imagine how much uh, meat needs to be preserved and mm-hmm. other things as well. 
So I just think we need to find this one negative Yelp reviewer that's <laughs> going after all the restaurants in Sinsuman. Yeah. Are, are we actually looking for the guy who's putting the bad salt yes. in there? Or the one guy <laughs> who's been just leaving the bad reviews? We've got a guy. <laughs> well, do we and want... he's investigating. <laughs> that's right. This is the good guy. We're, you, we're talking about the bad guy. You've been following these, uh, this trail, this salt trail. But you're trying... You've been following all these clues, trying to find the right... You know, the restaurants. Who is their provider? Uh, you know, where is the dip in quality exactly coming? And you've narrowed it down to a very specific trade point, you think, uh, within Sensuman. Like, it, it is almost can be traced back to, like, something is going into one location at a warehouse, and whatever's coming out is sub-quality. Hmm. And so you've made your way there. Are you still going to be having Ronto along with you? Only if she wants to, but I would imagine by now she is, like, ex- like bloating up and is probably not able to continue on with my investigation. I, I got to tap out. <laughs> I'm, go- I'm oh. going to go sit in the corner. <laughs> Guy, <laughs> this is really <laughs> gritty. <laughs> Guy has not even noticed that you've trailed off. He is engrossed in his research. <laughs> All right. I uh, hope you don't get is, jumped. Is Kamu still <laughs> following, though, looking for more <laughs> If he wants, <laughs> he or? can abandon me in my time of need. <laughs> As you were going along, uh, you cross the bridge uh, on your way to essentially this one trade point within the uh, within the city, and the sun has been out for a while, and there is a low lying uh, fog on the water caused just by the heat and condensation as you know j- just almost the mirror sheen to it there's just that low level of mist on it and we're going to start up your flashback <laughs> you are in the company of members of the living chronicle and you are beginning to ascend a very familiar path uh, you have uh, your towel with you, you're dressed in a robe, and you are on your way to an onsen. And, but uh, it's basically a, a public bath. Bath house, yep. And you are enthralled with this reality because you are with members now of the Living Chronicle. Yep. And you walk in, and... Uh, you, of course, uh, we'll say you disrobe, but of course probably have on you know your shorts or whatever else uh, or whatever within this time or culture it would be appropriate to be public with. And uh, it's at that point that a sharp inhalation <gasps> takes place. What is that? And you're like looking around. Uh, what in the world? There was somebody... What's going on? What are people talking about? And you feel hands on your shoulders as you uh, basically somebody holds you still. What? What's going on here? I'm being attacked. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Quickly, fight. (laughs) You're the only one who hasn't responded with just a swift punch in the face. (laughs) Any adult. (laughs) <laughs> You're surrounded Several by adults, uh, uh, members uh, of yeah. the Living Chronicle, come over there, and there's kind of this whisper tone. It's like, "Did you do this? I don't. That's not my hand. Right? That is that you? Did you? Did you do this? No. Is this? What's going on here? What is happening to me? Dude, they're admiring your back tat. Uh, he in fact, he has yes. It. No, uh, he, does, he got it pointed out to him, didn't he? Not no. yet. This is oh, it. Oh no! Add, Nobody has seen that's it. That's yeah. meta. Spoiler! Yeah. Gosh dang! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's seen it yet. Uh, um, guy. Uh, yes, sensei. When? Mommy. Who did this? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just. And acne. they take you over to a uh, a mirror. Uh, it's a you know it's a glass mirror with steel behind it. Uh, it's very you know it's very poor reflection. Uh, but there's one opposite in the, uh, in this area, and they point, and you see over your shoulder that there's something on your back. 
Uh, looks like words, writing. Who did that to you? Do you... You have to know who did this. Completely catatonic. Like, spirals is the, in the ass. Is it the picture of Chet that I drew? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> one of... That is a good question, though, about something, though. Yeah. One of them walks over and is like, this isn't even writing of the Izu Empire. It's, not, it's, not, it's the language is the same. Can you read this? I, I can't read it. Can you? Can you read this? And uh, an older gentleman of the uh, Living Chronicle comes over. He's like, let me take a look. Every guy is being completely manhandled yes. right now. Yes, and, and in shock. Just, he, yeah. <laughs> let me read the boy's backside. And he begins to read aloud the story that you transcribed. <laughs> and the familiarity of the words start bringing Guy back to his senses. Yeah. Is it is it Arata? Is he the one reading it? Because that'd be pretty impressive. Yes, actually, it is. <gasps> He's blind. John didn't know that until it's in Braille. <laughs> That's the act. <laughs> no, I mean tattoos are a little raised. Arata right likes to play with people. <gasps> he I also like changes it. the rules. No, we're not going. That's why there. he's called Arata. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. He's he's the change. He's the changes the rules. You, boo, 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 there is something about this boo, boo. moment. You hear these words. You realize boo, boo, boo. that you are tattooed with these words upon your back. And these people and the Living Chronicles are just enthralled. There is a lot of attention on you. And how are you reacting? Get it off. Do I have the book on? Or, uh, or within my possession, or the we for uh, it hasn't been house. given back to you yet. Got it. Yeah, the book, the book that I translated that night after our test. That's what's on my back. And the they all begin talking, and there's this discussion now of what's going on, but it's almost as if it doesn't even involve you anymore. They are talking about you, around you, but none of them are talking to you. It's as if they are lost in their own research for the moment. What do you do? Um, for the most part, I am very familiar with that kind of feeling because I tend to do that myself whenever I'm enthralled with research. So I just listen in to whatever tidbits of, of um, you know self-mutterings they are whispering to themselves as they continue their investigations it's like just trying to gather as many of the the whatever little bit tidbits i can overhear to piece it together in my own head there is something about this that there is a secret they're like that's the word that comes around several times from the speakers there is a secret here there is something going on this book must have come from the land of seed and blossom and we must find out what's going on here. And it's at this point that I'm going to take a little bit of libel. And I'm going to say, you, at, the, at this point, you're, you feel overcome. And you really want to either research on your own or something. Something tells you that it, this, this moment is over. Uh, this bathhouse, everybody's going to be leaving soon. And what uh, at this point... You're swimming. Your head is swimming. So much has happened. And how are you reacting now? I'm going to put on my robes. Mm-hmm. Like, Thank you for this moment, Sensei. I must go. Run! And you run out of the bathhouse. Going back down the path that you had taken to get here. There's a certain amount of elation in the realization that you have a tattoo. And at this moment, the emotions running through you are powerful. And you get home and you throw open the doors and there standing before you are is your family. And we're going to cut your scene at that moment. By the way, hmm? it's eight o'clock. We're going to take we're going to finish up one more. And then oh, we'll yeah, we're going to go ahead and do them both. You want to do them all? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we only have an hour. Yeah, we have an hour. I'm going to do the last one and then we've got a big scene.
So if that's you don't okay. want to wait until after the break. Uh, do you want to wait until after the break? Because you're you're the one who's left. Do you want to take a break and then do yours? Well, I we are we going to take a break? We are. You want to take I a think, break? I think I think a break should be taken now. Okay. <laughs> then rather than later. Yeah, that's fair. Time. All right. Well, uh, I really hope everybody's enjoyed uh, this first half of the show. Uh, when we get back, we have one more. Uh, what has happened since uh, our characters have been away. And we also have something else, a closing scene for all of this. So, uh, yeah, we'll see y'all in about five, ten minutes. Stay tuned. See y'all. Hi, guys. We are back. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed your break. We've got one more story to tell. So. I enjoyed my break sitting right here. Mm-hmm. As you should. So, Kyo. Kyo. Yes. Yeah. How are they uh, How's doing? In, oh, yeah. How is he doing in Sensumon? What, what exactly is he in pursuit of? Uh, Kyo is watching. Now we have like a forest sound. So go ahead and take it back to your busy, <laughs> your busy city. Because now it's just. Because I'm going to be right in the midst of a lot of action. Um, I'm actually watching, I'm spending a lot of time right on the docks, and, um, I've been keeping an eye on, uh, the dock master's assistant, mm. and the dock master, kind of, but I have my opinions about the dock master, okay. um, but is what I've kind of done is, once we were given this assignment, Kyo packed some textiles and spices and is actually set up a small found some like ditched crates and stuff and uh set up a little table and started uh hawking some goods out there on the uh, i mean there's there's fishmongers and and mm. all that right on the right on the docks and uh i am offering uh spices that uh, you know complement seafood how very cash money of you. Well, you know, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so I'm I'm doing that, and I'm kind of keeping an eye on the dock master and the um, dock master's assistant, who who also sometimes and I'll move sometimes. I'll hang out there, and then the dock master's assistant also kind of spends some time sometimes going up the canal and making sure that the boats that are coming through the canal aren't aren't uh getting jammed up okay. so he's kind of the runner while the dock master uh does his thing but yeah and his name is uh the dock master's assistant let me get my yes the dock master is tano jiro and uh the dock master's assistant is koizumi naoki and so koizumi naoki and yeah and um one thing that I've kind of picked up on is that perhaps Naoki is not as big of a fan as of the Empire. Maybe it's just the war, but I've seen because there have been some Imperial couriers mm -hmm. and maybe some troop troop ships dropped off or, you know, some people have come in from the Empire. And uh, when I've I had a good chuckle because uh, they're all kind of pretentious jerk faces, you know, a lot of times and... Uh, Koizumi tends to mock them a little bit behind their back, so uh, more interested in Koizumi than than the Doc Master. Doc Master is all business. Okay, and you're at the same time selling goods. Selling goods. And these are goods that you've brought along with you. Yeah, I brought some some um, canisters or or bags of spices okay. and uh, maybe some fine. Uh, mid mid level, little better than what you'd find on a on a dock in Sensumon, but some some n textiles, some some mm -hmm. uh, more utilitarian textiles, uh, maybe some bags. In your uh, youth, is it possible that your parents came through here before? Oh, probably. Okay, so more than likely you have seen this city before. Uh, we or? probably came through here. Okay. All right. Um, your crest, your family crest on your stall or whatever you're selling, mm -hmm. 
a few people uh, look at it and they, with some familiarity, and they're just yep. like, oh, oh, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, I am the youngest and the finest of the Fujishida that uh, I'm sure you've heard of my grandfather, Ryo, and uh, my father, Genji, and here I am uh, just, you know, offering offering the, the, latest, the latest trends. And since I'm taller and bigger, I, I usually can pass off as, as more than just a... A 12 year old. Lucky. I'm As a very tall 12 year old. I'm a six foot tall 12 year old. Wow. I'm, well, uh, I was one in real life. Very so good. it is possible. <laughs> it's not for a guy. It is. <laughs> no. At 12 years old? No. It takes a bit for some of us to sprout. Yeah. I, uh, well, you know, whatever. But, <laughs> all things considered. You know, you're the pride of the family. And uh, <laughs> I'm the only one. Yeah. So <laughs> sales are going fairly the bar well. Was set low. Uh, and money's exchanging hands. You're keeping an eye on the dock master. And you begin to remember. I don't know. And we're doing your flashback. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you yeah. are in your family's business back home. Now, this is pretty much your easiest way to say uh, home base. I mean, this is, this is where you spend your winters uh, when your family can't get out and do trading, uh, when it's just too frigid and too cold to really move through the countryside safely. Yeah. Uh, so what, what exactly is your home like? My, just, like my house? Yeah, your house. Is, this, is I mean, your we, house we also live, your business? Yes. Yeah, we live um, probably behind. I, I'll be honest; I'm not real sure about architecture, um, but I would say behind and perhaps above. Okay. Um, the shop, and and then it's got a stall that we open up every day. So there's like a porch that opens up, and then we we bring out some of the spice barrels and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Your family... The textiles are inside. For your flashback, you are not... Uh, this didn't take place exactly after you returned. Okay. This is instead taking place uh, when you are informed that you will be departing again. Okay. Uh, it's been a couple of days since uh, the declaration was made who was going to... Uh, sure. You know, who had passed, who was progressing. And this was going to be the second test. Uh, you have the paper in your hands your mother and father are uh convalescing for the moment uh resting uh indisposed indisposed it happens your uh siblings i don't have any oh sorry for the most part then you are working i thought i remembered si you had a sibling or something but you didn't read my story. No, I did read your story. <laughs> you skimmed it and missed something. I have all the siblings. Yeah, I have no siblings. I'm an only okay. child. I just actually, I just said that too. I have four siblings. Okay, yes. you got me beat. Yeah. So you, I think you and I are the, the only on, the only only child. Yeah. Are you an only child guy? I haven't decided yet. Okay, <gasps> we don't know. <gasps> we don't know anything about guys. <laughs> but we have parents. Yeah. For the size stall you have, do you have people working it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there you are have employees. Three other people working. Um, they've they've been with my family longer than I have. Okay. There is uh, this moment of hesitation as you receive this letter, uh, and this is the question that l comes to you in your mind: Who are you? Uh, is going to take over while you are away? Oh, uh, that's that's an easy one. Uh, like I said, we've had. Three workers that have been with my parents for over a decade and uh, almost probably 15 years at least. And uh, so it's going to be, and they've been working for my parents. I mean, they, they work the store all the time. I just, I just and make decisions. Kyoshi, Jun. Kyoshi, Jun, and, and Sengo. Mm-hmm. Now, they had been working with your family for quite a while, but it wasn't until later that you found out they were actually members of the Blazing Dancers. Oh, uh, one of them was, yeah. 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 
The others were not. The others are not ninja. Mm-hmm. And actually, honestly, neither is Sango. Hmm. Sango's family was, but she never joined. And it's through these uh, relationships, I'm going to say, that your character came to also know Akakage before uh, okay. you began training. Probably, yeah. I mean, we... I was I was doing a lot of the stall business by the time I was uh, ten, so okay. I've been I've been and already running it kind of when we got to Danketsu because the trip to Danketsu my parents fell ill again so. Right. And Kyoshi uh, will actually come over and speak with you about your intent to travel. Uh, so you'll be gone for quite a bit again. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, dad really wants me to do this ninja thing, so I do it because, you know, it's an opportunity or something, I guess. They offer to help you uh, get things together and suggest perhaps you could, uh, based on what you're seeing within this mission, uh, go as a merchant, take things with you. Always, always, yeah. I mean, I keep, I keep a nice little. I mean, this kimono is dual purpose. It's got pockets on the inside, and I keep little spice jars in it. So it's kind of like that watch salesman when they open up. Yeah, kind kind of. Would you like a watch? Kind of, kind of, but, you know, it's a little bit nicer than that. It's made of a fine, fine kind of silk. I have a few that, and they're not all silk, but, you know, have to look flashy. Because, you know, when you're selling stuff, and you're selling stuff that really other people will sell, kind of. I mean, ours is way better, but, you know, you can get spices from wherever, but... This is this is part of my family's business. I mean, my my one grandpa did the textiles. My other grandpa does the spices. We take this stuff very very seriously. This is generations of tradition, and so I, I wear a nice I draw people to me. I'm tall, broad shouldered. People like that, and so they trust me. And I'm not afraid to wear you know lilac and pink. And that also that also catches eyes. One of the workers turns and uh, while you're getting things together and says, your friend uh, is out front again. And... Uh, Kyo! Oh, <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Kyo, I again? need to talk to you. Again. Not this guy again. Are you here? Yeah, I'm... Uh, fine, fine. You thought fine. we were going to avoid if, this conversation. <laughs> if, if you... Uh, you know, can you just can you just set up some more some spices that you know? And I give him a list because Roxanne doesn't know, but Kyo is very familiar with what kind of spices would go well with fish and other seafoodery um, to make it not taste like seafood Cuban. or fish, huh? I don't know. Yeah, Cuban, yeah, <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. I need a lot of paprika. <laughs> Curry. Curry goes with that. Yeah, food. curry. Actually, yeah. Well, you know, do some some Japanese curry fish or something. But anyhow, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. Could you please do this? And then um, I've also probably given a ledger to Sango and have said, you know, these are the orders that we need to get taken care of. And they know their jobs, but I also kind of direct. A lot of that worker, when mom and dad aren't. The worker just turns around and goes, "Of course I can. I have nothing but time on my hands." <laughs> you know oh, what? No. no. You know what? She does. That's what she's. Gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> she's an NPC. She's of an NPC. Of time. <laughs> yeah, she's made of time. So okay, yeah. So then I I uh, I straighten my kimono because I know what this conversation's about, and then I leave. <laughs> I exit the house. So yes, Chet. Chet, again, yes. Sorry, I've been busy. Hey, yeah, uh, you know, it's fine, but it's it's like I've been really needing to talk to you about this very important thing. Okay, well, let's uh, let's let's talk. Okay. Ha- have you eaten? Not yet. Do you you want to go to Clash? Let's go to Clash. I could I could do some ramen. We need so like a transition to. scene to go to Clash. <laughs> 
Clock wipe. It's just just some just some, yeah, clock wipe and some slurping sounds and and we're there. Okay. <laughs> or you know, not a clock wipe, but just kind of wavies across the screen as we slurp up our ramen scene transition. We, we I, I was thinking of like a smiling like bowl of ramen with like an egg in it or something. There you go. Yeah. Find. It was right. actually cute. Not and we're just sitting there just shoveling it in our yeah. face. We need the chimes. So yeah. you are at Clash in the Pan, and what exactly are you doing? Uh, than obviously slurping noodles. All right, yeah. so important things. Uh, you're a Ronin now. That's cool. Yeah. That's a thing. Uh, well, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's cool. I don't know. I mean, I mean, you say that, but like when I when I when you guys found out, you just kind of all ditched me. Well, I mean, you know. Like I get it, you got you know we you got gotta, process, man. You got a process. I, I understand that, but I haven't seen you guys in like weeks. I'm f- I'm feeling a little bit like has it been weeks? Days, but weeks can... feels like weeks. <laughs> feels <Years>. like <laughs> I'm I'm 13. Time moves so slow. I, I have a, I feel a beard <laughs> growing. I feel, yeah, I feel. I feel oh like... no, <laughs> that's not good. Rant for Chet. It moves. <laughs> Checked out. It moves that's a hormone. That it moves for anybody else. Look, uh, I I think that I have an opportunity presented for me to do something that probably not no one's ever done before, but like no one I've ever met. I mean, what if they what if they kick you out of the academy? Then, Where, then who's going to train you? So that's okay. That's the thing. There's I've. You know, you know the groundskeeper. You know that guy whose name I probably wrote down. Oh yeah, what was that guy's name? Crumbs. It's definitely not. John, crumbs. what was the guy's name? Ito. Ito. It is. It is Ito. I, I did write it down. Fantastic. Um. Yeah. 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 He he's offered to train me, but under one. Is, is he even ninja? He's. I don't know. Is he ninja adjacent? He's ninja adjacent. That's the thing. I I don't. Ninja-jason. But he he told That's me that I need mindset. to. He, I need to go to the monastery that I didn't even know existed, on top of that There's hill. There's a monastery. That's yeah, and I he's offered to train me up there. I just I need, I need my friends to to vouch for me. Oh, like and just say hey yeah he's cool. Or like, what do you need us to do? Be like, oh, I, he can he can punch hard. I need I just I just need to show that I have people on my side. Oh, oh, I, well, I that'll just, be fine. That'll be fine. I mean, okay, because it's just you know I felt I felt these past couple days that that you guys aren't. We literally had breakfast two days ago. <laughs> that that you guys just like aren't okay with this so i just i need to it's i need to show that like no matter what choice that we make because no matter what clan you decide to go with we're still gonna be buds we're still cool yeah so i just i i need that kind of support from my friends and well and i mean i guess we kind of just need to know that from you too that we're gonna be cool we're, because we're yeah absolutely because like no matter what decision that you de- like where you decide to go with your life i will support you 100 percent I shop at your store all the time. Well, I mean, of, of course. I mean, yeah. you're not going to buy from Spice. You're not going to buy from, like, Spice Trader City. Jim. Spice R.S. Um, <laughs> no. I mean, he's got the worst spices. But I, it's not that we were ups- – or at least not me. I wasn't, like, upset. It was just we did all this stuff, and then you got picked for this, like, super great honor first, and then, like – the rest of us don't really feel like we have an option. I mean, I, I, I guess obviously now we do, but that's a hard mindset to walk away from. It wasn't really an easy decision to make. Oh, I, I, I'm sure I it didn't, wasn't. I didn't think I was going to make that decision, and then I saw everything in front of me and decided... Yeah. You know, just then and there. But, look... I just I wanted to come to you first because I know that like me and you like we butt heads, but you're the one that I feel closest to in the group. Sure. And I know Ronto was pretty mad, and I'm not gonna lie to you, she scares me. Um, so She's I need tough. I need three I three older brothers. It, I didn't want to go to her alone, so I kind of oh, I need so. your support for that too. Y'all are gonna gang up on me. 
you're not going to gang up on <laughs> you. You're not even here. <laughs> right. It's just, I, you know, you you headbutt people. Was that mad. is true. <laughs> you like charge in, and, and you were, I was and mad, you're, you're and you were, headbutter. and you were Hard mad at me. The soft bits. It's 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 scary. You're um, right. I was mad. But yeah, yeah. Well, I. I'm confident that we're good. I mean, I haven't talked to anybody in a few days either. It's it's not like you were singled out as not being talked to or anything. But um, you know, I got I got work and stuff. But well, it's fine. It's fine, and I can I can go with you to talk to Ronto and uh, talk to me too. And All right, guy. I Although appreciate. Although I haven't it. seen guy since that day. I, I don't know. He like they like whisked him away, and and then. Yeah, he I was whisked away. I haven't seen him either. I mean, he was. I mean, he did. He was, he, he was like the other day. He, he was like gone. running through the streets excitedly. I oh, don't, was he? I don't know what that was about, but I he mean, just like ran from the bathhouse straight home. It, that was that was weird. He got to go to the bathhouse. I know. It's you, you know. Let's not dwell on that. Here, I'll pay for your ramen. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate your help. You you uh, yeah yeah got it. We gotta stick together, even even if our clans make us not hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll figure we'll, it out. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. We'll just figure it out with <laughs> conviction. So, flashing back to the future, obviously, your investigations have wrapped up. Each and every one of you have finished talking uh, to the various sources, gathering your knowledge and information, achieving uh, within each one of your area of expertise uh, what you think will get you that next step. And so you're traveling home. And that is where we're going to start everything back up. Oh, here comes the music back, guys. Yeah, well, no, no, I'm not going to be throwing music at you. I just have to find, there we go. You see, Ronto, the key to mime is that when you establish that something is there, you have to remember that it is there. Why are we talking about this? I I just got done telling you about me sneaking up on this guy and doing a mime performance and how much money I made doing it. I'm I'm just trying to help you out. I don't want to be a mime all right. You're the quietest out of all of us. You'd actually probably be the best at it. As you're traveling along, <laughs> <laughs> you are all on a wagon. Uh, there's actually two wagons that make up this uh, caravan for the most part. Uh, Akakage and uh, Ayami are on one. And Kyo, you are uh, guiding the other because that's the one that's carrying your trade goods. Oh, so I brought a bunch. <laughs> you brought stuff. Nice. Yeah. Did Kyo make bank? She made bank. Mm-hmm. Piggy bank. Why do you guys have so many coins? I am dirt poor. Props. Yeah. Oh, I need to bring props. Because I'm of noble birth, and I just inherited it with no uh, my, work of my own, except oh. for all the mime I do. My pop is my prop is poverty, so that's what I brought. I'll yeah, you're. <laughs> artist. I'll bring some dirt next time. Not there, on my table yet. Bring dirt. <laughs> but there is uh, a moment where Akakage holds up his hands, and obviously your himself. pooch is very upset. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fred. Give, Fred is playing. Give Akikage me a uh, give me a moment, guys, uh, and I'll be did right back. Did we not back. do this on the break? Did we not? No, let them we, out? we did not let oh, them out. Gosh. So our pups are very that upset. Was a, give that us was this a moment. mistake. So let that me really let got me, me mute the GM. <laughs> Talk about yourself. Akakage just got hit in the gut out of nowhere. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, he was he was obviously oh, making supplication and prayer. <laughs> Are, are you okay? He has to go to the bathroom real bad. <laughs> oh, no. He's getting real quiet We're, over there. I'm nervous. Shh. 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 All right. Let me put I'm the GM back on. Character. So, Takumi, your mom's been meeting with that guy an awful lot recently. Is are, Yeah. Is he your new dad? Yeah. <laughs> is he your new dad? I don't want to talk about oh, it. He's his dad. Yeah. He's totally his dad. You have to call him dad now. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Akakage holds up his hand and the to two wagons. The, to yeah. stop the wagons. Okay. Whoa. 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 Um, keep an eye on everything. The rest of you come with me. Oh, I didn't understand what he said for a second. I was like, what was that? That Naomi, language. keep an eye on everything. Okay. Everyone else, come with me. Japanese. Um, I carefully tuck away my money bag that I usually keep on my pot, <laughs> like like right here in my kimono. But I'm I mean, like, I ain't gonna go fight in the woods or we're, something. We're leaving it with Ayami. It's pretty. She'll safe. handle it. It's yeah, pretty safe. yeah. Ayami, here. I'm, I give her two coins for give her her trouble. My money. Kyo is so hot for Ayami. <laughs> <laughs> There is uh, this part where the path that you're on, this road, uh, the, there are ruts cut deep into it uh, where wagons have moved through here, and it bends slightly up ahead. Heavy wagons, yo. I think I saw a movement up ahead. Somebody's got eyes on us. Everybody be ready. And I, um, I mean, I don't know if anything will come from this. Can me and Camu... Smell the tracks? Sure. Sniff I get dirt. one karma. I Hang on. Let me make sure I'm not making that up. I believe I'm supposed to get one karma for acting in tune with my dog. Okay. Um, so you're both sniffing the air? Yeah. Yeah. Toss karma in there. And so I'm guessing this is a perception and... Are you using a karma too? Oh, can you I? you gain you gained a karma and then you just immediately, just yeah. immediately it out. yeah you can use it go for it I was I was getting greedy with it um I guess perception I and it. um could we say survival because it's like tracking yeah absolutely okay so let's see and I will be using the karma but just one Oof. uh that is one success you don't necessarily smell or see anything but there is uh appears to be a figure laying in the road up ahead as the the bend takes place so i'm sniff, sniffing the air and it's just like no oh there's a person <laughs> while, essentially while she does that can i because he says that we probably have eyes on us can i do like a uh perception intuition to see if i can tell where the eyes are Sure. I, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it, does anybody else want to see if I, they can fix Because he, he did say this. You are alerted to it. I, could, could I help uh, chat with that? Uh, if y'all are trying to do an uh, assist on that, one yeah. of you provides one skill, one provides the other. My, so. my perception is three, my intuition is two. What do you got? I have, well, I have a perception of three, and that's the one that I would use if your, your intuition is better than mine. So we'll go ahead and go with your perception intuition, and if you also want to do a perception something, oh, okay. And y'all, y'all are this both. We'll How see far? who gets it. Uh, we're gonna say this is about fifty yards ahead. So a good bit. I got two successes. Two successes. Uh, uh, you pick up on movement. It, you do think that there are people. Uh, not multiple running, people. Yeah, multiple people running away from that spot where there's the figure in the road. Okay, I'm going to attempt to, uh, without alerting those people, uh, inform the group what I have learned. Okay. Uh, what did you get? Two successes. Two successes. You as well get the same. So, y'all, yeah. So They only rolled one success so. to try and hide as Kyo, they ran away. Kyo is going to reach. I'm, I'm reaching into my pocket, and I have two. They're not coins, but they are small discs, bigger than, like, this type of coin. Mm -hmm. um, but they have been filed a little bit on the edges, so they're a little sharper than the blunt edge of these. And, uh, yeah, he's got those between uh, his first fingers, his okay. first two fingers. And as if we get any closer, uh, he would like to make a perception marksman check and is just going to thunk it. Okay. Whatever this dark shadow is that's up ahead. All right. Did you see it? Because it, they they both did see I it. I didn't run a. Per I didn't do. If one you yet. want to go ahead and do a perception, well, I I would have tried to point them out. Yeah, but uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and let go. Yeah, 
Perception sure. perception as a whole in this game is not supposed to be the biggest thing. Okay. So, yeah, I will say that once he points well, it out, you're able to Well, that's what I'm saying. It. If yeah. we approach it and I see it, I would like to lob. Oh, okay. Lob a, it's not, you know, it's probably this big, but I keep them in my pocket. And they're not like super sharp, but I mean, if you get them going fast enough, they're, they hurt. And I've been man. working on my wrist snap. Yeah. Once the body is also pointed out with Akakage, uh, he increases speed. Uh, and we're on foot. Yeah, you're on yes. foot. And he says, take up a de- defensive position. And goes over and uh, reaches down to check the pulse on the figure. Um, in, to do my defensive position, I'd like me and Camu to kind of duck into the woods to hide. Okay. I'm going to stand close to Akakage while he's checking the body and um, pull out some kunai and be poised to chuck them at whoever tries to get at Sensei. And so you're over near the body? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to kind of head to where I saw the shadowy figures retreat to. Okay. So you're going to run that direction a little bit? Are you actually running to go like pursue yes okay the rest of you see that is anyone joining him um i'd like to stalk behind but stay in hiding i'm keeping an eye on him so he doesn't just get and jumped. I, I do communicate i'm on pursuit <clears throat> okay uh so for guy i'm gonna stick around with akakage and uh help him investigate the scene um Either by taking out notes as he um, points them out, or by helping him um, find additional clues or any other tidbits that may be helpful as to unraveling this. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you want to make a roll on that? Sure. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Um... I would say uh, you. I'm guessing you don't really have holistics, do you? I have two in holistics. Holistics would work if you're trying to look at the body. Uh, perception would definitely work. Um, I'm trying to think what else I would go with. Did in you that say it case. was dead? Uh, he reached down to uh, check the pulse and shook his head. There's no pulse? There's no pulse. Okay. Because I do have holistics. I, I also have uh, one attempting to heal the sick, but. Mm-hmm. Um, possibly. Um, I'm going. I'm going. This for the moment. I'm going to deal with you all with the body first, and then sure. we'll mm-hmm. go the entire yeah. group. Um, maybe knowledge to see what's like out of place. Or... Okay. Yeah. Let's go for it. Forensics. There you go. Uh, I got a nine, and that's it. So one success. One success. Uh, obviously, this figure you are confirming is dead. Uh, you're seeing multiple stab wounds, and that's about it at this mm-hmm. point. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Is Pretty there dead. blood everywhere? There is blood. Okay. So, uh, but on top of that, the other things that you're noticing, uh, this figure is not dressed in the common garb of the area. Uh, much more. You've, uh, you, if you're anywhere near there. Uh, okay. This clothing is reminiscent, and this of would the be silk. Uh, no. This is, you've seen figures like this. There is a trade city not too far from here. Okay. Uh, common capital trade city for this, uh, for this province. This is the garb of someone who would have been from the land of five blades. Okay. Uh, and um, yeah, that. I don't say anything immediately because. Yeah. But th- other than that, you uh, imagine uh, visually uh, pleated pants, uh, which is a very odd thing to see. I mean, we're talking multiple pleated pants. Uh, a eighties jacket that uh, flows overall. Uh, kind of reminds you a little bit of what Rontua wears, as far as like the hay. Imagine a jacket that fits like that. Okay. Uh, and the other thing that would catch your eye is uh, arrows and a bow. Uh, the bow is wrapped in something. 
but yeah, it's the shape of you can see it's the shape of the right. bow, but it has been wrapped as if in silk or something else that it is not prepared for combat right at this moment. Okay. okay. So. I will make a mental note of that. Did he see it? Yes. Okay. Because uh, all three of you are still there. Okay. All right. And at this point, we're going to say that you have ran into the woods in pursuit of somebody. Uh, you are in the woods trying to get a good idea of where they are or what exactly were you doing? Um, when Can he... Can Kamu up? Uh, Kamu? Oh, I have him with me. When Chet took off, I took off to make sure, you know, he didn't just get, like, sniped or something. Sure. So I'm keeping an eye on him, but I'm still trying to, like, maintain my... Uh, stealth. Okay. All right. You hear everyone in the group hears uh, yells from multiple points in the forest, and figures. You are you're running outwards towards figures. Figures begin start running towards you, and we are going to find ourselves in a combat scene really quickly. Do we see? Uh, do I see any of those moving in, and at what distance? Uh, they are moving in, uh, coming out of various hiding spaces uh, within about uh, 50 feet. Jumping down out of branches. Feet. Yeah. Okay, I want to lob. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Wanna, you had that. I had asked, I'd asked to hold that. So so is that perception marksman or yeah. what would you like me to perception use? Perception marksman would work great. Um, yeah. And then uh, once you get this attack off, I am, we are going to go ahead and do initiative. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so perception is two, marksman is three. I so oh, did you bump up the stat? Oh yeah. <gasps> oh wait. I haven't I haven't done any any stuff yet. Um, that is two successes. Two successes? Yeah. All right. Uh, you bean someone. Right on the I mean, side it, of their head. I was gonna say it could potentially like, yeah, cut in. Yeah, no, you you hit right on the temple with it. Okay. It buries in on somebody okay. and they nice. go down. <laughs> and oh, we're going to go ahead. I don't, I don't do that. That's a rock <laughs> sand. That's a rock sand. Ha. Kills we're going like. to go ahead and do initiative now. Initiative again, if you remember, is a static. score. It is a static score. There is no rolling on this, so I just need to know everyone's initiative. Eight. Eight or Takumi, because I figured some of y'all might have gone up. Do you want to? Do you want a card and just write it down? Yeah, uh, either that or if one of y'all want to write it. Or I are, could write it. What are the stats that determine your initiative? Intuition, again? speed, plus three. Oh, mine, mine went up. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a weird thing. Isn't it kind of neat though that just a couple games away your initiative could change? Yeah. Yeah. Can I can I borrow a pencil, anybody? I got you. So, Takumi is an eight. Yeah. Can I borrow your erasers? Mm-hmm. While you get initiative, I'll deal with our other issue really quick. Okay. I will mute. Da-da. Intuition plus uh, speed plus three. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. And there is a metric, there is a sp- spot to write it down in your lower right hand corner on your sheet. Mine Thank is, you. yeah, mine's still seven. Okay. Toronto, what are you, Chet? So Six. Okay. And Guy? <laughs> Uh, seven. This is the best eraser okay. ever. Don't you ever, ever question my eraser. Don't do it. I don't All even know right. where to find this. All right. Okay. And then Chet. Where the sumo wrestling happens. Six. Oh. So we know our initiative orders? Um. Yes. Do you have initiative for the other people? We're going to put the others at three. Oh, boy. Ooh, oh nice. Because they're attacking as a group. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, beyond that, once y'all, we have a good initiative order set up, we need to go ahead and know what your dynamic dice are. Oh, jeez. Oh. All right. So you're, How do we do this again? So you're going to roll uh, one, and you, uh, you get one automatically, and you have three dice that you're going to roll. Your successes will equal a total of how many dynamic actions you'll get this round. Oh, and it's the normal success rate, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Ooh. so you always have one, and then from there. So I have two. You I know. have one. One. Three. Three. One. One. I rolled. Nothing. And for Kyo? One. One. 
All right, so who's first up in initiative? I think that that's would be Takumi. Takumi. Isami. Oh, all right, so Taku Takumi. Um, so I am currently standing pretty much at Sensei's back near the body. Um, what do I see around me? Do I see any actual... You see figures now have moved out and are visible and are starting to run towards the uh, point in the road where you all are. Okay, so I'm going to pick out the guy who's closest to the front mm -hmm. and I'm going to take one of my kunai and I'm going to flip it up into the air and then catch it at the tip and then chuck it towards his uh, aiming at his thigh okay to slow him down all right um, so I'm thinking perception and marksman for that yep I remember uh, that the way attack works it is reflexive it is yeah basically he's going to try and dodge and he's going to fail utterly. So how many successes do you get? So counting my dice. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five successes. Five successes, which is more than enough for a boost. Uh, so I'm going to give you the opportunity. What kind of boost would you like to do? You could do... Uh, now, I want to say this. You're up against a mob. Mm -hmm. That means for every success that you get, uh, you have the opportunity to uh, damage more people to some extent, usually. Uh, but they go down with one hit. You right. don't, if you're only fighting one and you score one success after, the con after whatever, they go down. Mm -hmm. So that's the best way I can describe that. Uh, if you want to, you could do this in such a way, describe it in such a way to where you could get an additional target because uh, bonus damage really isn't going to mean anything. Right. Uh, you could do this in such a way that there's going to be bonus uh, info, heightened effect. Uh, you could put it into your karma pool, your uh, extra boost, things of that nature. You could do it in such a way that there's a style to it. Okay. You know, um, it, th these are all individual choices. So let's, um, I'll say a heightened effect. Okay. And the heightened effect is um, the speed and accuracy at which this scrawny 13-year-old just took down this, I'm assuming, adult that is coming at us. Yeah. Uh, scares the oncoming mob. Okay. Yeah, that... that we're going to go with that. They, uh, a few of the figures around uh, this individual, uh, it, there's, it, it's one thing to say that they were scared, but they're also, there's something more to it where they're also like, uh, and you're picking up on it, this person might have actually been fairly important to this group of ruffians. I do have something to add. Mm -hmm. uh, Sir Pike Otter, Jonathan yes. Philpot. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, subscribed, and he's granting you a reroll at some point. So, that you, so you have so nice. here. We'll cool. just use this as a token. And thank you so much, Jonathan, for subscribing well, tonight. Thanks, buddy. Uh, and so, yep, that'll be there for you to spend. Should you? He knows I need it. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said he will probably need it. Okay. So, uh, who? How many uh, boosts? Or sorry, how many? Uh, it was five successes. Yeah, five successes. So he goes down. The group around him is now a little bit Shaking. paralyzed. Shook. They're shook. Come at me, bro. Uh, they are shook. How many dynamic actions did you have? I had two. You have two. So what would you like to do for your second action? Um. Oh well, yeah. So one, two. Sorry, I've got to get back in the headspace of how this game works. Roll right because it's I get to do the one action and then I can yeah remember you got dynamic gotta, actions yeah for my turn. Um, yeah. Do we need the combat? Yeah, uh, the combat sheet, sheets are. Sheet. There's one out there in front of Sammy. Because I have one. Oh yeah, over here as well. Yep. So you can always use uh, your other dynamic action for an extra action. You can use it for. Uh, do we need another one? Because I have yeah. two over here. Um, I think we might be okay because we have a couple copies of over that here. Sheet? Okay, cool. Unless somebody, I don't want to talk for anybody, but. Um, oh, okay. Chet knows how okay. to fight. I yeah. will. 
I will use, uh, could I use a dynamic action to, you said the bow that was on the guy was mm -hmm. like wrapped up in a way. So it's like, is it even strung? Uh, it might be, if it is, it's very it's tightly, it's going to be a very tight bow. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like wrapped up in something. So you really can't see okay. it until you open it. Um, Yeah, no, now is not the time. Uh, I will, I will take my other kunai, mm -hmm. and I will chuck it at whoever is still foolish enough to keep running at us. Okay, so you, uh, you eye another target, and you're going to take an extra action. I'll do a, I'll do it like a follow up. And how, uh, what is your speed rating at for your character? Three. Okay, there we go. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I will. I'll make it like a follow up to the initial throw. Mm -hmm. So it's the flip, the catch, the throw, and then I'll use the momentum from the throw to carry my body and flip over and throw it at the next guy that's in line. Nice. Okay. One, two, three, four successes. Four successes. Let me see if you get any boosts on that. Oh. Uh, they duck underneath it just barely. Oh. So. Okay. Lay dodge. Lay dodge. All uh, right. So those are your two actions. Who's next up in initiative? Uh, next would be Ronto. Okay. Ronto. Oh, actually, Ronto and Guy are on the same initiative, so you guys wow. get to decide who gets to go first. Okay. What was your initiative? They're both uh, seven. Six. six. All right. Do you nice. want to go first? Oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, just because we haven't actually used it yet in game. I wanted to try out one of my fighting style maneuvers. Okay, yeah, sure. Nice. Okay. Um, does that count as a dynamic action or is that something just kind of considered an attack? It is considered an attack, okay. I believe. Works for me. Um, so I have a level one horse kick. Um, yeah. uh, basically, long story short, a uh, fighter launches powerful kick, thrusting uh, both feet. Dealing one damage per level to a single opponent, and they also send the tar uh, target stumbling backwards, um, uh, just like a couple feet. Okay. Um, so I guess um, let's see. I'm gonna spring from the bushes, as you said they were coming down from trees. Yeah. Uh, when one kind of like catches my eye, I'm just gonna spring load myself off the base of the tree that I'm hiding by. And just kind of like pivot my foot and like kick him directly in the backside as he's kind of coming down. All right. So, uh, yeah, what, what's the usually those come with rolls that they request for those? Oh, let's uh, let me double check. Thanks for letting me or reminding me. Um, I'm not seeing unless I'm missing it. Yeah, if not, then it's probably gonna be a fighting might. Okay. Um, I mean, that works for me as well. Um, so I'll use my three might. And only two bite. Um, and that is one success. One success. Mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly, he didn't roll anything. Yes. So you kick him... Uh, with that, with your, was it mule kick? Is that how uh, it was horse kick. Horse kick. So it's essentially uh, two feet, or two feet, she spring loads into the air and just goes. All right. And you hear him fly backwards as he's, he was jumping out of a tree, coming down to the ground. You jump up and kick him in that manner. And you see his body slam into the tree and you hear a sick crack as his head thunks up against the bark. I think and I he falls the to the ground. Oops. All right, next up, guy. Um, didn't you say that there was someone that was throwing kunai at us from the? Uh, from no, no, no. Just him. Just, oh, him. just him. He's okay. a, he's the only one that's been throwing kunai. Got it. All right, then. So we only have just the one assailant right now. Yes. Um. Hmm. Because guy is not terribly good at fighting. He's a trap maker. So, um. Hmm. Let's see here. What do I want to do? Um, I definitely want to. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, all 
All right. Here's what I want to do. Um, I want, well, I want to use my umbrella. And then, and so this is going to be, I have no uh, take real great skills at fighting. So he's just going to swing his umbrella, but he's going to pull it short and then suddenly open the umbrella to distract him for a second and then just step on his foot because he doesn't really have any other weapons. That. That. Sounds great. Let's go for it. So uh, I'm thinking maybe fighting and deception. Yeah. All right. There you go. And for that description, I'll say go ahead and throw in a pl uh, another one. Woo! So that sounds like fun. Oh, now we're getting something. And so that's <laughs> two. That was three. That's four. So that's four Yay. successes right there. And again, I'm rolling. I'm, I'm rolling nothing. So you get a boost on that. All right, then. Um, let's so, see. What are my options again for getting boosts? Uh, you can do additional targets, bonus damage, uh, bonus info, a heightened effect. Uh, use that boost and give it your team a karma. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Since we, he's the only assailant that we know of right now, let's go ahead and just do the bonus damage for now. Okay. So bonus damage, what, what that means, though, is that... Uh, he jumped uh, so essentially he came out you scared him with the umbrella mm. and stepped on his foot yes uh he is going to hop in place and uh another person had come out of hiding mm -hmm. and uh essentially in the uh in the mix-up they're going to run into each other <laughs> in a very anime headbutt kind of moment sure. and both of them are going to go down because essentially the bonus damage is going to give you another target all right well move. so all right so uh and you only had one dynamic or you had only one action total correct yes all right so next up in it's, initiative order that's uh, gonna be that, me yeah it's me or chip but go ahead and go first are you, all, are you also six i am also six okay uh all right um so since I ran into the woods pursuing them, mm -hmm. I'm running at now that they're coming at us. I, I assume I'm running head first yeah, into, into somebody. Yeah. Okay. So the first action I want to take is I want to run up on this guy while shouting, trying to uh, intimidate him and like throw him off. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if I could do like speed intimidation. Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. Just running at the guy yelling. Oh! Yeah, it's very Han Solo Death Star moment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's 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 a very loud shout just to be like, oh my god. Yeah. So. You were just giving me tips on how to be a mime earlier. <laughs> yeah, sometimes uh, mimes gotta yell. All right, that's oh, yeah. <laughs> no, not uh, not no. a <laughs> very effective yell. That's one success. Eh. Uh, they got one success too, and so they kind of just turn their head and look at you like, what? <laughs> and, but they're still coming straight at you with the intent of harming you. All right, no, Club that's raised in the air. That's fine. If they are confused, that still is uh, good for me because now that I've run up on them, yep. uh, I'm this going to thirteen-year-old boy in yeah. shades running up at them. I'm going to attack him. Okay. Uh, <gasps> Why did he rip his sleeves? <laughs> and where did he get sunglasses? And in, in I'm going to use what one of my fighting it styles. It's a fighting style that gives me plus one damage okay. uh, for attacking unarmed. All which right. I am. Yeah. Um, no, you're on. And since I'm still like moving quickly towards him, I was wondering if this case I could also use fighting athletics. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. So that is five for fighting, two for athletics. Sorry. Fact, five uh, for fighting. I'm thinking I'm starting to oh, sing yeah. Superman in my head. Can I, uh, <laughs> as, as fighting this guy would help the group by making there be one less guy <laughs> to fight, can I uh, use a karma? Yeah. Uh, remember, so for one karma, I'm not going to require a description. It's but yeah. you doubled it. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to go for multiple karma, and then we do have a lot over there. Yeah, we do we have a lot. Do you guys mind if I double dip by helping us out by giving us one it. less guy double, to fight? Double dip. By that logic, we could all use that same excuse to double dip into karma. Yeah. I didn't need to double dip. Double in order dip. To hit my dip. No, you didn't. I'm, I'm doing it because I'm rolling so many dice. This guy is gonna die today. But maybe. All right. So. <laughs> Well, no, no, hold on. That is <laughs> that is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's you five. actually yeah. exceeded. Oh, I, I only saw all of the fails. He rolled here. two successes, so you still have a boost over him. 
All right. Uh, so I run up on him. Mm-hmm. I'm using uh, Mantis style. Okay. So I run up and shout, uh, Mantis style, uh, rushing dagger. And I just like stab him with my fingers. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's, I'm essentially doing a style boost. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to do. So, yeah. He, <sighs> you hit him in the side and it's kind of like you hit him in that perfect uh pressure point that his eyes just kind of roll back and his body flops to the side like a rag doll and falls to the ground. All right. Now I'm going to use my last action to uh, turn around and try to run back towards uh, where the other assailants are, are coming from and try to get to them quickly. Okay. I would say that you could get to one more assailant, uh, with that dynamic action without having to run back if you wanted to. Okay, I do want to. Okay, go for it. All right. Uh, so for this, I guess I will use, or I would I would like to try and use, let's see, let's see, what's good? I mean, I, I guess it'd be another athletics fighting. All right. All right, this time, but I will I will use no karma for I feel good. Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da. I knew that I would. Let's see. That is one. That is... No, it's two. Because that's a ten. Ten is two. That's it. Okay. That's right. Uh, And that is going to hit. All right. And he takes an additional damage for me fighting on arc. All right. And the next assailant also goes down. Uh, This group... Now seeing that their numbers are reduced, because uh, everybody has gone around, right? Mm-hmm. I have not. Oh, you have not. Go for uh, it. I mean, I did a surprise round kind of thing. Okay. So if that counts, go no. ahead. No, because I'm. I was looking for a fighting style thing. Okay. That I lost. I Which had one? It. I have the book right here. Uh, well, I'm I'm on the page and I had it and I I'm looking. It was something. Was it that? No. There's something where I could throw stuff. There was a throwing one. And, but then I turned away from it to see if I how much it cost to buy a new yeah. uh, thing. And I don't see it anymore. So it doesn't matter. Is it named after a creature? Or is it just I like think it was one thing? of the creature ones, but I don't remember what it was. Mm. It's okay. Eagle is ranged. Yeah. Um, oh, that's it. It's beating my wings. Yeah. Okay. And that, uh, yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Okay. So you had one action. This. Oh, round, yeah, yeah. Just one. All right. So, so uh, is what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, that's at a negative. If I want to, I'm just going to do what I did the last time and fire okay. one. Absolutely. Because then I don't have a penalty. Uh, actually, I'm going to spend a karma. Because... I, unfortunately, because it does take... Or wait, what skills are you having me roll? To uh, throw something. To throw, I am... I did uh, perception look, marksman last time because I was waiting to see it move. Perception marksman would work as well. Okay, I'm still taking one. Then. Um, do I want to take another one? No, because I don't know what I would say. Uh, One success. That's it. Zero successes on their part. Okay. So again, this one uh, collides uh, right in the bridge of this person's nose. Ah, that makes me hurt. Yeah. (laughs) It should. But the group just uh, stops for a moment. Uh, Those few who are still standing kind of taken aback because uh, essentially you've reduced half their numbers within moments. And Akakage pretty much just stands up uh, and looks out at them all. And... Thanks, guys. You can go home. It was great. Just... No. Uh, <laughs> you feel key pulled into him, and it's almost as if, looking at him, he is enveloped in blue flame. Oh, cool. And he looks over at them and says, Are you certain you really want to do this? And the entire group flees. Yeah. Someone was about to get messed up. And so the combat ends. But there is 
Now this question of this body in front of you. Akakage says, We don't have time to really deal with much, but we really should bury him. I'm going to go get my coins back. Okay. I'm going to dig through the pockets really quickly of the guy I just knocked into the tree and mm -hmm. see if he has anything interesting on him. We'll, we'll say that he had a few things on him, but we'll go over that later. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to make I'll sure that the bow and the arrows do not get buried with the rest of the body. Okay. Because I think there's something there. I'm going to go back with uh, Kyo and grab the shovel. All right. Uh, going back towards the wagon, uh, we'll get right back to you in a moment. Okay. You, however, uh, you pull on the uh, bow and the uh, arrows, taking mm -hmm. them off this gentleman. Uh, with, even with some care, the silk that it's wrapped in sloths off. It wasn't wrapped too tightly. It's possible that he was trying to, uh, to loosen it when he was set upon. Mm -hmm. There is a very unusual quality to this bow. You okay. look at it and it is as if... Uh, have you ever seen those uh, trees where it looks like the tree has formed around something? Like, yes. uh, like, the, like a bicycle is stuck in a tree or yeah. the tree went around a fence post or wire? Yeah. It's as if the wood that... It, makes up this bow is interlaced with metal Ooh. but it is of that quality where it looks like it is all one thing as if it is as if it was forged and crafted all at the same time you have never seen anything like this in your life congratulations and welcome to your special item for the night for uh have i seen something like it before no but i'm saying this for our special item yeah, special item. We had a Facebook uh, thing where I said that for a certain amount of followers joining us on our Facebook page that I would go ahead and give a special item to my players. This is it. Did we only get one? Oh, we got an NPC too. The bow seems That's to call right. out to you as if it says, as if it's calling you as you hold it in your arm. It's like, I can help you. Oh, cool. <laughs> the bow talks. The last time we got a talking item, it worked out. But then it disappeared. Well, yeah, that's because <laughs> we told people it talked and they took it away from us. We just yeah, don't talk. I told people no, it No, but then the story that guy read disappeared. Yeah, but... Where it went, no one will ever know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where it is. <laughs> okay. Guys just, like, You're right. <laughs> yeah, he never told us. We just know that he excitedly ran that, out of the bathroom. That's right. So only, that's... Right now, the only thing the person that's hurt heard it is you okay what are you so excited about over there come on help dig uh yeah okay digging i'm going to i'd take the silk that it, the bow was wrapped in though okay mm. yeah i don't care about that I mean, all right yeah, no, uh I, as I, I just keep taking the silks that everything is wrapped <laughs> back to the wagon Make a quilt. Uh, yes. to go get the shovel you see a very odd sight it looks as if Ayame is staring down another Ayame. Oh, crumbs. Which one do I shoot? Which <laughs> one do I question. shoot? <laughs> one, yeah, I can literally do that now. One is uh, holding a child by its hand. And the other one is standing on the wagon. As someone who has studied under Ayame, I know for a fact she hates children. <laughs> 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 Which is why she's working with us. Yeah. That's yeah. Why she's so mean. Uh, okay. But the Ayame in the wagon set looks over at you and says, It's all right. It's my sister. Oh. I get out of, I get out of my awesome fighting stance. Oh. She pauses for a moment and is like, Is everything all right? There was a seemed like not sure what it was probably bandits uh they're someone's dead not of our group oh i should oh. i should lead with that good uh there we found a dead body you want to see it you want to see a dead body <laughs> have you ever seen a dead body the title of this take episode the, stand by take me. the reins to the other yeah. wagon and we'll take them over there all right and basically the wagon train goes up to the body and 
you bury it. Uh, Naomi is standing there. And now you're... So essentially, this uh, other young woman looks exactly like her. Except Joe's obviously... Uh, oh, have I buried the body? Yes. Uh, the, you were waiting on the shovel at one point. I, if When Chet okay, takes I'm too long, that. me and Cam were just like, tick, tick, tick. Which gives us another karma, because I'm acting like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> but... Ame is just like, this is my sister Mai. And uh, she has an unusual request for us. You're looking at her, and uh, they do have a lot of similarities in appearance, uh, but the clan markings that are very evident on her sleeves so show that this uh, woman is a member of the Recoiling Serpents. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> are they, they like... Twins? They, those or guys are they don't just like close you. enough in resemblance. Uh, they're they're almost identical. All right, I'm on my guard after I notice that. I need you to take this child back to Danketsu. Uh, are are they yours? No. But they're not safe traveling with me. Where'd you find them? They were set upon in an attack. Their entire family's been killed. This one would have been killed too, except that this one was able to use key and protected themselves. So in that brief moment, it became obvious that this one needs training. The uh, child looks up at her with uh, a little bit of malice in her eyes. My name is not Child. It's Yuko. All right. Feisty. <clears throat> um, I would like to use uh, intuition mm -hmm. to gauge whether or not my group was the one who set upon this child's family and was the one who killed them. I'm going to tell you this right now. Okay. That's going to be a challenging test. All right. I'm going like to... That, that's four successes. All right. Uh, I would like to use intuition and I guess uh, knowledge would be would be the most reasonable or logical other one to pick. Uh, knowledge, uh, empathy. Okay. Empathy is better. I'm more empathetic than smart. <laughs> What's your empathy? Uh, two. Okay. You want karma? Uh, I would. I would like karma. And I do get a plus one to I intuition oh, for assessing a situation. Would that mm -hmm. apply? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So that is going to be... Do you want to explain and try to get another karma? Uh, so we have four more in here. No, because I don't think Chet is going to talk about it while she's here. If okay. he, if no, he this figures is, it out. This is right. you as a player. Describing to Describing John. to the t table. Right. Why you deserve that karma. Uh, but for the second karma, I don't know how this would help the group because he's doing it for selfish reasons. Oh, okay. okay. Fair enough. That's, that's very fair. So, okay. So that's two for intuition, plus one for my thing, and two for empathy, plus a karma. All right. You always get one for your thing. Haha. <laughs> that is, let's see, one, two... Three. I'm gonna go ahead and say I, I saw the yep, roll. He that's did it. it. I did it. I got six. <laughs> you done it. Nice. Ah. Everything in your being, down to your bones, because that's essentially a legendary success. Essentially, yeah. You could have beat a legendary test with that score. Everything in your being tells you that yes, Mai's group probably killed her parents. Okay. I'll Chet will keep that in his uh, back pocket and probably use it to try and like get this girl to not hate us. So mm. does does Chet's demeanor change at all when uh, he oh, comes to that oh, realization? Most probably. Like he probably gets way more like on the defensive. Stance again? <laughs> not into the stance, but just a look on his face like I don't trust this person and I don't like this person. Like I finish burying the body and start <laughs> walking okay. back. So since since I'm there and I don't want to 
like chain off of a success or anything like that. Yes. But can I at least tell that um, during the course of this conversation, while I've been asking those questions to my, um, do I sense the change in Chet since I've known him longer? than mine necessarily that, that would be a happening. roll off on that first and foremost you need to make a roll to see if you succeed and if uh you are trying to hide your emotions you're going to need to make a roll he to probably defend. as okay uh just speaking as someone who was once 13 he probably can't after this realization hide it on his face my probably knows that he suspects yeah as long as you don't say it out loud he yeah. doesn't say it out loud, okay. but like he lo- he's looking at her like I know what you did. Yeah, and so I'd Takumi can still summer. roll to not see okay if he picks it. up on it. Okay, so it's got to be like an intuition, empathy, and intuition, and I yeah. get plus one to empathy to read it a person's mood or motivation. Two successes. Yeah, so you are definitely aware of the mood change. Okay. Don't know what's going on, but I know Chet is now upset about something. Yeah. Okay. And my says, the kid needs to go with you if they're going to be safe. And secondly, and I'm being very serious here, Ayami, the child goes to the old snake. And that's a name some of you may be familiar with, peripherally. I would let somebody uh, make a knowledge. Yay, uh, I can do that. Not me. Knowledge check of some sort. That side of the table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll make a... Uh, and I have random common knowledge. Okay, the of three of us combined no. have one pip in knowledge. So knowledge, <laughs> intuition? Can I yeah. do that? <laughs> we got that done. Yeah, over knowledge, here. intuition goes. Uh, is Guy interested in this at all? <laughs> Uh, I I'll have go a master. See if I can't know anything about him. So okay. I'll go ahead and do a, a similar knowledge intuition. Yeah. How's that for real world? <laughs> Two successes. Okay. Five. Five. Oh. Okay, so guy. We are hot. Tonight. This is a figure within the re- recoiling serpents. You know that much. No. <laughs> yeah, well, as in, this isn't just like some god they're going to sacrifice the kid to or anything like that. The oh, great yeah, yeah. old one. Yeah. Uh, with your role, however, you are aware of this figure quite well. Uh, this is possibly the deferred to leader of the recoiling serpents. Uh,. There are legends about the old snake. He is one of the senior members. Uh, when it comes to anything, every, there there really is not a member of the Recoiling Serpents that does not hold him in high honor. Even the council that leads them, he is he could almost sway all of them with words. Uh, he is at least 70, 80 years old. It said that uh, his body, why a lot of people call him the old snake, is he has, through you know, usage of ki and perfection within the knowledge of his clan's uh, jutsus, parts of his skin have turned to that of a snake. Like he actually has scales rather than human flesh anymore. So he's like 40% snake kind of a thing? Yeah. So does he live... In Danketsu? There are times where he does go there, especially... But being, he doesn't live there. He, he lives live up there. in the Triumph province yes. somewhere. Okay. Ayumi kind of... Her eyes kind of narrow at this... So be it. And Mai just turns her back and walks off. Akage just... Or sorry, Akakage just kind of looks at them and is like... All right, well, she's with us, and we must go. And at this point, I believe that we're getting pretty late on here. It's about almost 9.30, so we're going to go ahead and call game there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share a few things. Obviously, uh, this Yuko is the... uh, 
NPC that y'all have gotten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So for the uh, basically for twenty, uh, we got twenty new followers that were you know we were at uh, forty with twenty at sixty. Y'all got the new item with twenty at uh, eighty. Now you've gotten the new NPC. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I, I said that this was a huge part of the background plot of what's going on in the game. So I'm going to give you an option and also our viewers an option. And that is to say that, uh, there is a podcast called the wooden dojo. That is a other side of this game, specifically an episode called the assassination at Yanama. And in that, uh, episode, a lot of what is being alluded to here is given greater detail uh if you want to go and find out what exactly who Mai is who this child is and what actually happened you'll have to go and listen there if you choose not to you can be as well as in the dark as my players so i think that's a good place for us to end i hope you all really enjoyed tonight's game and we will see you again in two weeks i believe Two weeks. Two It'll weeks. Be, um, the nineteenth. Nineteenth. Yeah. That is correct. All right, guys. See y'all soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.